And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 28, Bente Ocho of the No Frills Podcast. That's crazy. We 28 episodes in. I must set that on the 27th, 6th, 5th, and the 4th. Ha! <laughs> but I just say it anyway, just to remind y'all that we came a long way. What's going on, everybody? It's the Road Dogs, No Frills Podcast. Yeah, I see you. What's going on? Y'all already know. We back at it again. Hitting y'all with that ultimate funk shit. Random shit. And speaking of fun shit, I, to be honest with you, I didn't even expect Mike to be here. Mm. <laughs> this shit is random as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, if, for people that don't know, we actually have, uh, like, we bounce back and forth. Or did we just scramble in terms of bringing guests? I was asking Chris, who's the guest today? And it was Mike Williams. Y'all don't even know him. Yeah. I hope y'all don't know him. Because he ain't nobody. But we about <laughs> to make him a somebody. <coughs> Listen, if y'all don't know, though, but just watch closely in some of the movies. This is one of Vin Diesel's stand-ins. Because one of his stunt doubles, he gets in there, in and out. If you pause the movie, you can see him shifting over sometimes. He'd be in there picking his nose and shit right. like that. You know what I mean? But anyway, what's going on? Welcome to No Frills, Mike. What's up? How you doing? Chilling, brother. Welcome. Goddamn welcome. I call him the delicate prince. If you watch everything he does with peace, <laughs> delicacy, the way he holds a joystick. Yo, I seen him eating a freaking um ice cream sandwich. Yo, my man had it like this. <laughs> he peeled it. <him. laughs> Fingertip control. He peeled it back one by one. No mess. Nothing on the head. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to set him up. Watch. We're going to set up everything well, he does. Well, like set him up like it has to be sloppy? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going like, to pick that up. He's going to size it up first. He's going to be like, all right, hold on. He's going to shift it over. Uh, <laughs> He's going to pluck it up a little bit. All right, Mike, listen, the floor is yours. We like to do something here in the No Frills <coughs> podcast called Humble Beginnings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your humble beginning coming into the, to the fighting game side of things? Yeah, basically. No, no. You know, not just fighting. Basically, we want to know how you just got into gaming. Oh, yeah, yeah, facts. Facts. My let's bad. Go, let's, take it, let's take it to the beginning. We're going oh, we we to go through go everything. Back. Yeah, we're going back. We're going back. We're going way back. We're going way back. And you got to answer this, too. Do you, did you tiptoe when you was a young kid, too? Facts. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. We're going to get to the tiptoes. All right, okay. All right, all right. We just start off. I got a Nintendo in like 1987, mm. 88, 87, 88. Whenever it came out, 80s babies. And that's that's when I got into that. I got into fighting games because of Karate Champ on Nintendo. Wow. Damn, Damn. Karate yeah. Champ. Damn. Okay. And then like, that was that was wait 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 that was the um the that joint, was the red and, the red and white kung fu people and um they and had like the little low the special stages kick. where you had to do stuff right uh yeah it was like a waterfall stage yeah yeah, like yeah, that. yeah 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 I forgot yeah. but so <laughs> there was that then like when we used to go to the laundromat they had a street fighter in there one day which street fighter two regular okay so you didn't even see street fighter one nah 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 four nah. years time was, that okay. was, yeah I was too young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because so, Henry, when we had Henry on here, he played Street Fighter 1. Oh, Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. No, no, no. I was too old. <laughs> Jesus that, that, Christ. That's too old for me. Okay. So Street Fighter 2 came out. It was in the laundromat. And I was playing. It had eight characters. No boss characters yet. Facts. And then. Um, no boss characters. Whatever. I, yeah, I got into that after that. I was loving Ryu, Guile, Ken. And um, yeah, so I just started playing fighting games after that. I just went to the, all the arcades when I grew up. Whenever I came to the city, I go to Playland. Playland. I went to uh, Playland. Like before Playland. GameStop, right? Way before GameStop. No, because I don't. Play, Playland Game? got it. Got um no. replaced with GameStop. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Funko Land, Land was, got replaced by GameStop. Play, Playland was Playland, an arcade okay. on Forty Second Street. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. My bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is on Forty Second. With the two floors. That was nah, no, no, no. Nah, that was one floor. It was one floor. It was on Forty Second. Um, before Broadway City. Nah, it was like on Forty Third and that Broadway. Was floors, I don't nah, that was Broadway. That was Broadway City. That was up, yeah, yeah. that was upstairs. That's joint. on Forty Second, right by Play, the movie theater. Playland okay. was Playland was on like Forty Third, right, right where like MTV is now. Okay, and they had the whole bottom oh, floor joint, and then they just had arcades. Mad people were in there late. They were open till like three a.m. or something crazy. But um, yeah. So I I played all those games when I came growing up, and I started going to the arcades when I was like I don't know middle school and stuff. Mm-hmm. We used to <clears throat> go to our local arcade. We used to go to in Massachusetts. We had um, they had a movie theater right outside of it. We used to go and pick up ticket stubs, mm. and then go and return them for the movies that were just starting. Or they like people would drop their ticket on the floor, the stub, because they're like, all right, they they take it, they drop it on the floor, they keep it going, they go into the movie theater. 
So we would run around the movie theater, grab the ticket stubs for the movie that are playing already, go to the go to the customer service and be like, yo, we don't want to watch this. We want our money back. They give us the money back. What? And we go to, uh, what? We would go to, yeah, it's back yo, in the day. Y'all teaching me some shit. Every we, guest <laughs> we have had, a, had some little hustle. We, we used yo, to go. He said, so we take the stubs that. back. Yeah, we used to what? take that. And then we went to the arcade. Yeah, and then we go to play in an arcade and we just use all that money for the arcade, like just refund money. That's that. wild money. You getting movie ticket money back? Yeah, just to play games. We, I wasn't even thinking about using it for anything else. <laughs> just Yo, wanted to play games. It, it always starts with poverty, huh? I guess. <laughs> and, you know, and of course, since it was in the old days and shit, back in the days, like, you know, security and a lot of shit yeah, was just nah, freaking was not trash. Even happening. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. need no phone. You don't need no information. You don't need no IDs, nothing. Just fucking, you said you was grabbing stubs and you just took it back and they was with the shit. Like, yep. cash? Yeah, that's a hustle right there. How much? A stub? Back then, it was like it wasn't a lot. It was like five fifty, maybe. That's that's a lot back yeah, then. That's a lot of quarters, though. That's a lot. No, man. that's a lot of quarters. <laughs> that's a lot that's of quarters. Lot of quarters. <laughs> five dollars. You playing for the day? <coughs> Yo, when we used to go to Nathan's, you know, me to eat in the arcade, you get five dollars. That's it. Yeah, you, yeah. Good for the day. Yeah. So we we did we did that, and then I started playing a lot, and then I moved here to the city when I was in um, like I used to come back and forth, but I, I moved here when I just started middle school. Mm-hmm. So they had an arcade right downstairs from my mom's house, uh, Laser Comics. And that's where I started. I used to play a lot. Like, I used to play, like, people that used to go to CF used to come there, but, like, randoms that were at CF. Mm -hmm. So, like, but they were okay because they already seen, like, this CF stuff. You know what I mean? They, they seen Channel Town Fair Tech. And I'm like, oh, okay, they're kind of good. So I'll get good enough to, like, beat these people locally. I think that's how I met Lincoln. Lincoln Morris. Yeah. The dragon, dragon guy. guy. <laughs> what was so, his name? Hold on, hold on. What was his name before Lincoln, though? Before I mean, before Dragon God, I don't remember. You forgot that? What, what was you forgot? it? Wasn't he Starscream? No, Dragon nah. Status. Oh, Dragon Status. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that name was trash. Yes. So, <clears throat> Dragon Status. That name so, is trash. So I met Lincoln because there was another arcade, like uh, maybe like seven seven blocks away, because he lived on 96th Street, mm -hmm. and then I lived by 110. So there was another comp. <laughs> another comic store called cyber games and he used to go there so like we were kind of like that was like rival arcades like some kids would go to laser comics some kids would go to cyber games and mm -hmm. then we would like go back and forth and try to beat each other type of thing and that was before i went to cf and then people were telling me yo go to cf you're pretty good go to cf and i'm like all right well i don't know where cf is like you gotta show me where it is like yeah. i don't know anything about that plus i was like new to the city so i didn't know like once i'm going downtown i only knew uptown anything above Hunter Street, I knew, but below mm -hmm. was like New World. So I only knew 42nd Street and then above. So what happened? Then we would, um, I would battle Lincoln. Then one day, me and my friends from high school, when I met Mr. Chief and them, mm -hmm. we were like, all right, let's go. Oh, they told me, the Chief. They told Mr. me, yo, let, you guys, you get to, that's when the, <clears throat> this is when Marvel 2 came out now. Mm hmm. So Marvel 2 came out. They're like, so you Yo, still hadn't been to CF yet? Never been to CF yet. Okay, wow. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to Marvel 2. I'm going to go. This Marvel 2 just came out now. And they didn't have our arcade shops. They had closed. One closed and one wasn't getting any of the latest games anymore. So they didn't get Marvel 2 for a long time. So I ended up going to CF one day and we couldn't find CF. And I was like literally a block away. Like, you know where the dumpling shop is? Yeah. On the yep. street, where the basketball courts are? Mm -hmm. Yes. We stopped there. And we didn't, and I didn't find it. We just went to play ball after that. Wow! So we just played ball in the basketball. Damn, court. it was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were close. Literally. So right like, there. I came back another day. I think I think I cut classes day to try and find it, and with my other friend, um, Will, and we were we were trying to find Captain it. Captain so America, Will. Yeah, and we were going all around Chinatown to try and find this shit, and then um, and I found it one day, and I and I think I played Justin before I even knew him, mm -hmm. and I think they're having a tournament coming up. They have posters everywhere for tournaments. And I was like, oh, this is crazy because I read about it in Tips and Tricks. Mm -hmm. They had posts about tournaments. I was like, oh, this sounds really cool. I want to get into it, get into it. So, yeah, I played Justin and then I came back another day. And I think I went to Port Authority. That's when I started going to Port Authority more because it was closer to my school. It was like easier to get to. And like people weren't as good as CF because Justin bust my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he played Strider Doom and I, I couldn't play. And I was like, what's going on? I was like, yo. What was, what was the team? He had Strider Doom. No, no, what was yours? Mine was, damn, back like, then. Some Nash, like Nash. It was some. My, my, fir my first Marvel 2 team was Iceman, Cable, Gambit. Gambit's on everybody's team. I swear to God, yo. Gambit's got, that was my ridiculous. favorite character. He's, he looked funny. He looked funny. Gambit's my, that's my favorite X-Man. Really? So, yeah, free. Gambit's got like. 
You serious? I loved them in Marvel 1. Crazy. But I didn't play them too much in Marvel 1. I played, in Marvel 1, I played uh, Shadow Lady and Morgan. But, and I played okay. the Gambit. But, so, yeah, Justin Bust Mask with um, Shredder Doom. I don't remember. Cable, maybe. Mm-hmm. And, um. He sent you to Port Authority? Yeah, pretty much. And that's where I met Desmond. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even meet Desmond in, um. In CF? In CF. Yeah, I met him in Port Authority. And pretty much, I got good enough to beat everybody in Port Authority, except Desmond. And he was coming around busting everyone's ass. And I'm like, God, I can't beat this guy. Damn, shit don't change. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, yo, you know what's crazy? I was thinking oh, that shit in the back of my, ma- my mind the whole time. I'm like, damn. Nah, yeah. So Desmond always had the upper hand on me. But so, so when I when I met him and and he was like, he was good, and I'm like, oh man, you're so good, like. How- I want to play. I want to be play people like you. Like I don't. Everyone else is like trash here now. Mm-hmm. Like no offense to people that were at Port Authority, but like I wanted to get better. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he was like, "Yeah, come to CF." So I'm like, "All right." So I came to him at CF one day. So you still hadn't people. entered the tournament yet at this point, right? Nah, I didn't okay. enter the tournament yet. I was about to, so I started playing a lot. And mm-hmm. I used to play with Lincoln. We used to go to this other kid's house, Charles, and we were playing a lot. Oh, you damn! You knew Charles that long too? Yeah, I knew Charles a long time. He went. He used to go to school by my house too. So. Um, God like and guilty again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're good. Charles, Shout Major, out to Charles. The L. Yeah. And Smash. So like <clears throat> Yeah, we ended up I ended up, you know, hanging out with Desmond a little more. So like I got I got okay. And I'm like, yo, Desmond, you think I'm good enough to go to tournaments? He's like, Yeah, uh, come with me to the break. And I'm like, all right. He's like, but how much is he? He's like, Oh, it's free. You just gotta pay to get there. And that's it. The and break was free that back then? Yeah, break was free entry, and then they gave you money on how many people entered. So he's like, yeah, come through. It's free. You just got to pay to play. That was the only thing you had to do was put in quarters. So hmm. he was like, yeah, that's it. I'm like, all right, cool. I met him on, I think it was on a Thursday. I met up with him at CF at like break was a Thursday. five. And then he was like, are right, we waiting for some people? And it was we were waiting for Liston and Javier, which I didn't know at the time. <clears throat> they came. And we get on the train, right? We go to Denullen. And so we get on at, what's it, the one Penn Station? And then you know you have to change at Newark. Mm-hmm. So we get on the train. We stay on at Newark. And oh, Desmond, because no. Desmond had left us, he's like, I'm going to go grab food. I, I, you know, whatever. I'll meet you guys around. And this is back before we didn't have no cell phones, nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, so my gosh. We Desmond's moved, moved, walked away, assuming, I guess, we knew how to get there already. Yeah. Or at least Javier, because I think Javier had been there. Because this was the year... Right after ECC six just happened, when when Ricky and them came here and they had that long tournament, so mm. I um well we stayed on a train. Me, Lincoln. I mean not Lincoln. Liston and um Javier. Javier. And then so Javier is like showing us tech, whatever, whatever. We're just like he had all the gadgets, so mm-hmm. he's showing us all his, his like handheld stuff, and we just not thinking about it, thinking we're and then we're like, yo, it's been mad long. How far is this place? I'm like, yo, we're going on a train forever now. So we asked the guy, the conductor, <clears throat> we're like, yo, where's Denullen? He's like, oh, you guys are far from Denullen. <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, yeah, Denullen's all that way. We're going south. We're going towards the shore. And I was like, huh? And we're like, <laughs> and we're like yo, but wait, we, we got the ticket. No one said nothing. He was like, oh, man, that's just unfortunate. So he was like, yo, I'll tell you what, get off next stop. He, he wrote on a ticket. And he was like, yo, y'all got to head back to New York to get even to go to Nunnallen. You can't Dang. even take another way to get there. So we were already an hour down. So it's like eight already. And I, it, it was going to start and end before we even could get there. So we just went back to Newark and went back home. I was pretty salty because I'm like, yo, I missed him. That was my first tournament. So I was mm-hmm. like, damn, this sucked. Like, I wanted to experience it. Yeah, for sure. And so I was a little salty. But then I was like, all right, I'm only fucking with Desmond after that. <laughs> so then, but I, I fucked with Javier a little bit too. So, cause Javier was like, yo, uh, come through to Flushing and, and play. We'll just have ones there. Mm-hmm. So I went with Lincoln. We used to go there and that's when Javier had the Mastic. So I went over and played with him. And that's when I really started getting into like the scene. I was like, you know, playing fighting games crazy. Cause he had like, I never seen a Mastic in my life. Like I grew up with, I think my first arcade stick was on Sega Genesis. I had the like Asa- Asai. You had Street that? Bunch. Yeah, I had one on Sega Genesis. I love for fighting what? Games. No, for just for fighting games? Nah, just to have. I just like I just you like, said, like the joystick. So Sega Genesis. Yeah. You talking about it was the round joint? It was. It was like the round joint <clears> with the <throat> stick, and then the buttons like this. Yeah, it was like it or was like sort this. of. It wasn't round. It was like a almost like a a rectangle ish. It was like a weird rectangle, and the buttons were kind of curved, 
and then it had a little stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I had that because I loved arcades. Like, and my mom bought that for me for Christmas one day because she knew I loved like just being in arcades. I didn't want to hold the controller. I wanted to like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I was just an arcade head crazy. And um, yeah, so when I saw Javier, he had the monstick. I was like, yo, that's what crazy. This? Yeah. Yo, like the monstick, it was like. It's like a piece of the arcade machine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So American I'm like, stick. this is insane. I was like, yo, he has this? And then, so he's like, yeah, you can order it from wherever. So, I mean, I ended up ordering one. How much was it when you first ordered it? I think it was like 125 A Mastic? Wow. 140 What? Man, get the fuck out of here. Nah, you nah, 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 I didn't what, pay more bro, than that. Bro, bro my shit bro. was like 200 and change, bro. Two, Maybe, almost was 300 Was your shit P360? Maybe. Nah, nah, nah. I had a company. My shit was two twenty five, and then I had to pay for shipping and handling. Yeah, nah, look, my, I didn't have come down to three and, change, and, right? Yeah, and 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 I had to, you know, I changed out the bodega <laughs> buttons, and yeah. I had to get the um, competition buttons. I had a P three sixty, and well, I costed them my colors. Now, nah, Javier ordered it for me. It was a competition stick and buttons. He didn't have competitions. That's why it was and cheap. And so it was cheaper because I had the yeah. competition. Because he told me about the P three sixty. He's like, oh, oh you yeah, can get that okay. one. And I'm like, oh, what, which one do you got in your stick? You know what I mean? Like, he, I'm like, what do you got? I want what you got. <laughs> Don't give me extra shit. I want what that. And, wait, and he had competition. And he had competition, which is why he didn't like CF. <laughs> Makes sense. So, Cynic. when I stopped playing at his house so much, I started playing at CF and, and Lauren's house a lot. That's when I got more used to 360, and I was like, I don't want this competition shit no more. So then I sold my stick to Jason, mm -hmm. and I couldn't really play at home. My mom hated buttons, or whatever. She hated me banging buttons, so I'd always be at Javier's house. Oh. I'd always be at the arcade, like. Yo, my pops used to be fucking tight. Yeah, like, she would. She was like not trying to have me bang buttons. She's like, "Yo, cut that shit out." Yeah, yeah, because my sticks is not peaceful at Yo. all. So it'd be like. Yo, man, shout out to my grandma, man. Man, she rest her soul, bro. I remember one time we was there. It was you, me, Rashawn, Mike. Yo, she came in. She peeked through the door like this. She, she opened it like. Eh, she's like Everybody's like. <laughs> <laughs> she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just closed the door. Yo, me grandma was not having that shit, man. Then of course, you know, when I take that trip to the living room, like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so that was that. Um So when you when you went to Javier's house though, um y'all formed a little group. The Decepticons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell us about tell us about the members in that group. Alright, so so a lot of people used to come Javier had all the latest tech. For back in the day, you know what I mean? They called his so crib Cybertron. He right? had, he had, yeah, he had two TVs in the room, big, big 65 inch, maybe 55s. I don't remember, but they were big. Two TVs. One, one was a CRT to play on. One was a flat screen to watch TV and movies. And then he had all the computers. He had like three computers, all the handhelds. So he had four monsters, two DCs. Damn. Um. Four and monsters. yeah, I'm pretty sure he had four. And I, you're looking at him. So, because it was him and his brother, right it was him and his brother both had like a pair for each. You know what I mean? So they had both had their own little so, station. Yeah. Wow. So it was me. I would go over Lincoln, Pungza, Mike Pungza. Shout out. And yeah, I think that was like the major. Like that went to CF. That was us three. So it was Javier, Lincoln, me, Pungza. And occasionally Eric would come through. Mm -hmm. and Jack Tang? Oh, Jack Tang. Jack Tang. I can't forget Jack Jack Tang. Jack Tang and was a couple Reed. of us. So yeah, we would go to Flushing every week and do these these little tournaments, or whatever, with whoever could come through. And we just you know, just to try to level each other up type of thing. So mm -hmm. it was like our little like group to level each other up. We keep trying to get better, better, better. Alright, so that's that's cool. Sorry to cut you off, but uh all right. Then there was another group called the Syndicate. That's later, baby. That's, That's later. later. That's yeah, later. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, uh, so so when, when we did the Decepticons, it was because we were in. We called we called his house Cybertron because it was so techy. So we were like, oh, let's let's have our little click because they had like gotcha games, had people, um, and then CF had people like Port Authority. They had a little, little like you know arcade clicks around in the areas. Mm -hmm. Naturally. So this is where we were playing at. So we were like, all right, we're gonna call ourselves Decepticons because we in Cybertron right now. Mm -hmm. So. Javier was like, he was like Megatron because he was like, yo, I'm the leader. Like, this is my spot. You know, like, you know, I have all the stuff. He was the best, right? At the time, yeah. He was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Things started to change, but. <laughs> I said, at the time, yeah. So then it was like me, Lincoln, Jack Tang, 
And so we will all pick our, our favorite Decepticons people to tag ourselves with. So I was Starscream. I think Lincoln like I forgot who he messed with. Jack Tang. I know he liked the the dude with the, the tape. Soundwave. 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 Yeah. So he was Soundwave? Yeah. <laughs> um Megatron. I forgot. And then um so yeah, then there was like Eric would randomly come through. He he was like, he's like, Y'all wanna be down because he would just come through and crack too. And then yeah, we had that little click. Um that was that. And mm-hmm. then I think what happened was with the syndicate is I started that's when I had met Chris already. So I knew Chris. I'm, I always knew Desmond. Uh Stanford. Who else did we mess with? Lawrence. Lawrence. Rasan. Rasan. <laughs> yeah. So like I knew them because I used to go I used to also go to Lawrence House to play. Yeah, once we, used, in a we while. used to call that the shelter. Yeah. So we used to play up there. So what happened was me and Javier, we went to Florida. So little stuff happened, whatever here and there, and then I end up like, yo, I don't want to play with him no more. Like, I, he's done. We had to go to a tournament. I, I was just upset. Like, I, we went to a tournament down there. I beat Vegeta X. This is D- DBS Sounds in, in Gainesville. So I beat Vegeta X in their big tournament. I beat Mix Up. You beat Mix Up in that? Yeah, I beat Mix Up in that beat, tournament. You didn't beat Mix Up. I beat Mix Up. Yo, the whole the whole arcade was silent after that. They were like, oh, he beat Mix Up. You beat Mix Up? Yeah. Well, what team? Bro. So, I was playing every night that day Shit. when I was playing then. So, I beat Mix Up, I beat, I beat Vegeta X, and I end up having to play Javier. Oh, no. So, he, he, he's like, yo, he takes me outside. He's like, yo, I, I can beat everybody here. I'm the Florida champion. Like, he used to win all the tournaments. He's like, let me win. Because this is, at this time, oh. now, now I can beat Javier now, right? So, now he's not the best. Now I can beat him. <laughs> By the time this happened. Oh, so I didn't hear the story. Yeah. He was like, yo, um, I want to win. I can beat the rest of the people. Like, I'm going to beat Xander. This other kid that was that was local there. He played Spiral. And who else was in the winners? Uh, Raekwon 187. Damn, you take it. Take so it, it throw back. back. Yeah. So That's it okay. Dot com and that mother. <laughs> yeah. So they were left. And he's like, we end up having to play each other. He's like, yo, I could beat them. It's going to be free and whatever. You couldn't beat them? I didn't even get to play them. But did you think you could beat them? Yeah, I thought I could beat everybody. I didn't care. I was okay. like, I, don't, I could beat everybody. Like, I'll beat you right now. I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll be, I was like, I'm, I don't like the next person I see is getting beat by me. Okay. That was my mentality. So I'm like, he's cool with me. He was like real emotional about it. So I'm like, all right, man, like, I'll let you handle that. Then, then whatever. So we play. I, I played like sluggish. Let him win. He ends up losing. He, he gets to the grand finals, but he ends up losing to Raekwon 187. And I'm, I'm livid because he plays, <laughs> he plays scrub. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, I'm so mad right now. Like, cause that was free to me. I'm like, this was going to be free. Like, yeah. like this was not even a challenge for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you let this guy win. <laughs> and you lost and he was so upset and like I was just mad and then we had like a little falling out whatever so I hit up when I I was like yo I'm coming back to New York <laughs> I hit up I think I hit up Desmond I hit up Desmond and Chris and I'm like yo, yo. I'm done I'm a lone wolf I'm like I'm not messing with him no more <gasps> and they were like yo let's come let's and so I started hanging out with Desmond and Chris a lot and we used to come up with shenanigans left and right and I'm like oh, yeah. thinking of crazy stuff we used to do all this all this things. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember one specific though. Yeah, we Which yeah, one? We, uh, are we go, are we going to talk about that one? We did some Which stuff. Which one? I mean, I got I got a bunch. Which are we going to keep What are we going to keep What talk about? What was the score when, when you walked out? Oh, nah. Hold nah, on, nah, nah, hold nah, on, nah, hold nah, on. Nah, 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 I'm not talking about right now. I'm not talking know, about right now. I know. Oh, oh. I wasn't sure if he was talking about the train or not. You I know. know I, mean? I, I thought he was talking about the train. Too. <laughs> there was a lot of shit that I heard, but I remember <laughs> one specifically because I was there, I was spectating. That's it. That's why it resides oh. with me. Well, we can get there, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, ah, there's so much legalities with. I don't know if I'm. Uh, <laughs> yo, fuck it. Throw that shit out there. Yo, fuck it. Man. All right. No, 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 no. Fuck Hold it, on. Man. So, oh, oh god. So we were like. Um, yeah, so I started hanging out with Desmond and Chris a lot. We used to come up with shenanigans. We used to try to do little things with each other. Desmond taught me how to do the Metro card trick to, mm. to get the train, to ride the train for free. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, So yeah, we were yeah. doing, like, little things around, and we were, like, playing a lot, a lot at Lawrence's house. Like, every night. Like, I would go to Metro I'd go to Lawrence. I had to work in the morning. I work at GameStop. I had to, I had to work at GameStop at, like, what, 12 or something? Mm-hmm. like. So we would play all night till, like, 8 a.m. I'd go to sleep or go straight to work. Or, no, it was Best right. Buy, right? Best, yeah, oh, yeah, that's the Best Buy day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it was both of them, but because then one like time you said, was that used to be used to be getting goodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so so like we would come he used to be getting goodies so yeah what's goodies what's what's what's, what's goodies cupcakes mm-hmm. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no 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 so 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 like we would <laughs> we would <coughs> we would play mm-hmm. all night and i go to work dead tired but i still go and like sleep on the train whatever like because i just wanted to crack all day and then we, we came up with that well it was me desmond and chris we came up with the sydney kick because we used to <coughs> i forgot why we came up with the name it was desmond i think because he's like dollar signs ooh. dollar sign clap yeah oh ooh, ooh. this all this all you want to throw out there well, Chris, what was it named? Syndicate. Did you make up the name? No, I didn't. That I did not. I don't remember how it I got Desmond. that. It, it was Desmond. It was Desmond. It was, was, Desmond. was, it was, was, there, a, was there a reason? Um, why did he come up with that? We'd have to ask Desmond that. That's we'll fair. Him. I don't. I really don't remember. Is there something like like you know, but you just don't want to share? We no. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. The reason why I keep poking at it, I don't know what the fuck, fuck it is. I don't know how they got how they got the name. I forgot. No, we'll, 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 we'll talk to Des. We'll have Desmond on. We'll have okay. mine. We'll have mine. What the the, fuck? F- the four will be Desmonds. Damn, so man. tune in for that episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad so that you know up. though. Like I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so we came up with that name. Um. And then, yeah, after that, we just, like, I messed with Desmond and, and Chris, like, probably. I'm right? sorry. I'm you sorry. really want to figure it I out. I was like, yeah, this is pissing me off now. Now it's pissing me off. I got to <laughs> wait for an episode for that shit? Yeah, I look to my eyes. <laughs> oh, nah. See? Yo, my shit is cookie cutter dry. I know what Dead Cell was called and everybody, when Dead Cell came in the mix, but. Uh, uh. Just, just syndicate. Just name Desmond came up, but that's all. No, nothing, nothing more to it. Dollar sign clap. Oh, I had to do it like strip clubs or some shit. No. Nah. No? Nah, definitely not. I'm not guessing. I'm not okay. guessing. Yeah, they... I'm not guessing. <clears throat> don't. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so then after that, I just hung up with y'all forever, and then... Yeah, we had. That's when we had that nice little tournament circuit. So, yeah. Wednesday, we would play We would play Mar- Marvel at Lawrence's house at night. Right. Thursday, go to the break. Right. Come Friday. back. Salty, salt, salty Sweet was... Original Salty Sweet was at Lawrence's house, because... Correct. There was a lot of salty shit going on at the break. Between between Desmond, Rasan, me. Yep. Yep. So then, me, um, me, Desmond, Rasan pretty much had the break on lock. Dan sure did. Like nobody from Jersey were, was sure able to did. beat us. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. And Mike, so Mike was washing Jersey. We would go collect pretty much whatever free money that was available for and then come home, do whatever. So yeah, we would we would end up like either chopping it up or we would try to bet. We would be like, yo, who's gonna win this? You know, grand finals or losers finals, like mm-hmm. all out of me and Rasan, because Desmond was pretty much winning everything. Yeah, and me and Rasan were like his understudies, I guess. Yep, I guess. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. De- so oh, we would like oh. bet Desmond used left to always right, who's Desmond gonna used get to there. always sponsor them to turn them. Like yo, Des, yo, yo, put me to turn them. He's like, listen, the classic line. I don't sponsor losers. Right. Oh. So- <laughs> 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 that, that's what Desmond used to drop lines yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my. See, oh, yeah. All day. He said, listen. I don't sponsor losers. I don't losers. sponsor losers. I can hear him dragging that shit out. Through. I would I would go to Desmond sometimes if I didn't have any money on me. I'd go to Desmond's <laughs> house. If he couldn't go, he I would go. Like, we talk on AIM, and he's like, yeah, I'm not going. I'm like, yo, I'll come through and get cash from you. And he's like, all right. And he'd give me the money, and I'd go to the break. That's what's up. And he'd yeah. be like, yeah, I don't sponsor oh, yeah, losers. Yeah, and I'd go win, and I could give his money back. Yeah, that's that's definitely used to look out, boy. <coughs> um, and then there's like that one story when Rasan couldn't go to the break. I wasn't even planning to go to the break. Rasan, <laughs> Rasan was gonna go to the break because Desmond couldn't go, and um, we were at Lawrence's house and we we're we were leaving on the way to the break. Actually, it was mm-hmm. me, Chris, Rasan, and when we're leaving, you know, when you go to uh, you've been to two eight and two nineteen. Yeah, no, oh, so like you know when you go to the upstairs trains and then so. All these kids are getting out of school. And yo, they're yo, hold on, all... hold on. But before that, right? Before that, look, look, look. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, Mike, you going to the break? And Mike oh. was like, nah, I'm not going to go. Work. I had work. Yeah, <laughs> work. I had yeah, legit work. had work, though. And I wasn't going to go. And the break wasn't free because Rasan was going, too. Right. I mean, so he he would have had to, like, really battle Rasan for it. And Rasan was really on the up and up, you know, surviving the hell on earth training from Desmond. Right. His son was on the up and up. So, you know what I mean? Rasan probably was, like, just probably second best in the house at that point. Yeah. So, so it, it wasn't free. 
No, nah, well, it wouldn't have been free, and I had work, so I'm like, I'm not gonna bother calling at work and go, to go play Rasan in the finals, and we're gonna have to go neck and neck right now. So Facts. I'm like, I'm just gonna go to work, right? So we all leaving at the same time. I had to go to work. Like literally, it was three maybe. I had work at four. Yeah, because kids was out. They were, yeah, so so kids is out. We going up to the train station. Rasan, was it tokens at the time or was it Metro Card? Oh, no, it, it was Metro Card, Metro Card, yeah. Metro, Card, Metro Card. But he he didn't he didn't have no fare. Yeah, so so he swiped his car. He swiped through. No, no, he, no, no, he didn't through. have. He tried. He, he didn't swipe through. through. No, I swiped through. Yeah, you, you swiped swipe through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and then we like, yo, yo come and on. He he's have, like, he's like, hold on, send it. And so I all these, the yeah. So he didn't have a fare, <laughs> and and we're watching literally, kids, yo. like at least thirty kids hop in the turnstile right they now. They going under. They, they just, doing all. They, they freestyle. They One kid did a did like a three sixty yeah, when he went over the turnstile. He he hopped and said, "Yo, spinning around." They were Yo, they styling. Were really? Yeah, they was. So Rasan's like, "Oh, hold up, let me style on him now." He was so like, he was, "No, he was. He was like, hold on, these motherfuckers hopping." Yeah. Yo, hold on. Make this money. <laughs> Take this money. He started doing this shit. Yeah. Right? So he goes. He wipes Yo, his thing. Yo, he, he does his, his little sea walk thing. <laughs> Yo. Hops the turnstile. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Boom. I don't even think he landed on the floor. The door in front opens up. Flew open. Th three cops walk out. <laughs> all females. Me. All females. Yep. He's like, no, no. Come here. Come on. Get some more. He was like, I was like, oh, shoot. I was yeah. like, Yo, chill, she said, Yo, chill. come with me. He goes, he they said, sit him oh. down, they talking to him, and then Chris is like, yo, 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 can can he like is he able to come? They're like, nah, he's coming with us downstairs. He, he was he was caught like he was like, I shit a hot. I shit a hot. He said, he said, oh, these motherfuckers is happening? Yo. Oh, he said, take Yo, he wiped the sneakers off like like, like in the like in the, the sea walk video. He said, mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. Yo, he just watched that YouTube video. He said, boom, boom. Or no, that was the they DVD. Burst it out. He said, no, 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 no. Took so, him in, right? Yeah, they took him so in. He was, so he, he so was Rasan passing done. everything. He, yeah, he, no, no, but he was passing everything. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was like, yo, hold my shit, man. Hold, hold, yeah. my, hold my wallet, shit like that. And they're telling us to get away from him. They're like, yo, if you if you don't want to get arrested too, like, you have to get away from yeah, Sprint. And he's yeah. like, yo, let me just get his stuff so we can just yeah, I hold his things for him so he doesn't have to take his book. And <coughs> he gets he gets taken. He's done. He's now now Rasan is done. So we go upstairs to the train, right? Me and Chris and I'm like, damn, like Rasan's done. So I was like, yo. I'm going to the break. <laughs> and, he, and Chris is like, what? He's like, yo, you don't got work? I'm like, hold up. I go, I go to the edge of the platform. I call my job. I'm like, yo, I got the bubble guts. I can't come in. <laughs> Hang up. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the break. And then I think we stopped by Desmond to get money. We went to the break. and um, Wow. Yeah. And yeah, I went, I went and collected the money from the break. Said, oh, I'm going to the break. <laughs> he said, damn, that's kind of. It's kind of fucked up what happened to Rashad. The whole time while he was saying that sentence, he was looking at himself in the train going to Dunnelin. <laughs> <laughs> what a scumbag. Nah, you know, it but was, it's smart, though. Nah, it was more like I didn't want Jersey to. I didn't want them to get a free day. Like, because we had it. We were literally every week, every week there. Free. So I was like, I don't want them to have a day where they can celebrate and just be like, yeah, we got the win and they didn't come today. Like, we just got oh to really play. God. So I wasn't feeling that. that that's what happened with that. Mm hmm um, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. You, you, you guys keep talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> so of course, Mike proceeds to go to the break, and he wins that tournament. Beats uh, Sean, Sean Morgan, Morgan in the finals. Yeah. Jersey, Jersey's <laughs> finest. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we did. That was that, and um, yeah, came I mean, back. CF CF on Friday. CF Saturday, Friday. Saturday was the CF tournament usually. Yeah. So and, it was like um, Wednesday was Lawrence House. Thursday mm -hmm. was the break. Friday Friday nights was CF. Like that was the big night at CF. Everyone went and played. Saturday would be a tournament if 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 we if we didn't get enough time. Mm -hmm. Or we would go back to Lawrence House Saturday. Yep. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday were pretty much days home training or whatever. Or whenever someone could just go randomly and play somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you guys let nobody eat. <clears throat> At the break, no. And 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 they wouldn't dare come to Chinatown Fair, right? They tried to come. Seen, no. I've never seen Sean in Chinatown like that, he, actually. He came a couple times. They would try to come, but Same result. Yeah, no. They weren't they weren't winning. I, yeah, um, I didn't I don't remember seeing Sean. The break wars were like Sean, Ed the Head. Was it Rob Sigley, that's his name? Vin Rob, Rob Sigley. Sigley. But he Vin. wasn't one of he wasn't <laughs> one of the major. It was Sean, Ed the Head, Vin, um Black Side, Black Side Phil. Phil. Oh wow, and um, I think that was it. That Rob, was I mean, oh no, then there was um, Ken Meadows, Ken Meadows too. Ken Meadows, yeah. 
So man, it sounded like y'all was eating. Okay. Yeah, those were some good Thursdays. There, there were definitely there was not even like it was a good amount of money. It was Desmond used, like Desmond used to make the money. He was, it was like five dollar tournament. Yeah, and not, make it like sixty five. No, it wasn't five dollars. It was free. No, 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 no. When I was going, you had to pay. Oh, oh yeah. Well, when we were going, it was free, and and you were he was getting you would get at least a hundred bucks sometimes because it was like a lot of people. How many people entered? Mm-hmm. They, I guess they did it by quarters. I'm not even sure how they they just calculated how much to give, but they were giving away money for that. And uh, they just, well, I guess they wanted people to come in, buy some break stakes, because break stakes are godlike. Fire. Yeah. God, like, break um, damn. Get a, a get a break stake special, and then um, play some games, you know, spend your money or whatever. I guess that's what they, they try to do. So they had Thursdays would be Marvel, and I think Wednesdays they had something too. I don't know, other games. Maybe CVS too? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's, that was our week. That became our week for a while. Now I, I will say this though, when Mike came back from Florida, he he was he was a new person. He stepped it up. He came back with some tech. His magneto was on point. You know, I mean, he he, he was a whole different person. Well, so because when I came back from Florida, when I was playing in Florida, I hadn't I didn't have a job at all, and I was literally just chilling there like for X months. And mix up would come over all the time, mm-hmm. and like we would play every day. I was in training room every day. Mike Mixon, and like. Mix up no he his his training regimen's crazy so <laughs> so <laughs> I had to keep up with him and I'm like shit <laughs> I was trying but he was he was good mix up was cool claw dudes and then yeah Mike had a Mike had another step up once he started living with Justin at Midwood oh yeah then <clears throat> then I move in with Justin we me me Justin Flash Gordon no they're gotta. Got a an apartment in Brooklyn, Midwood, Midwood, and Midwood. then yeah. The, so then I would every day I'd go to work and I'd come home. I'd either play Justin first to fifty when I come home or before I go to work, and we would just play X games for every day, which was which was good. It helped me out that year. That was when Evil East I was beating. I beat Johnson Dell. I beat Bill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You damn sure did beat some people. <laughs> that, was, that was that was five. I had, I had, I had an Evil oh, East. Oh six. That was oh six. I think. I think 06. Yeah. yeah. I had I had to beat a lot of people at Evo East to even get top eight. Because when we got top eight, you auto-qualified for Evo that time. Mm-hmm. So I got top eight. I auto-qualified for Evo. So I just walked into Evo. I was already in the top 32 bracket. That yeah, was that was fun. We um, got it. We, we have quite, quite a few stories. So it's crazy because there was so much rivalry within the syndicate. You know what I mean? Like, you would think we wasn't on the same team sometime. Like, Every week back it's, then, it's it was he- first. It was, healthy it, was, it, was it was, but it was first attempts for 100. Like, yeah, I can't wait till we have the episode <laughs> with Desmond so he gets out how he took Rasan's last pack of oodles and noodles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that was rough. Um, what did he win? He used to, he used to, he used to stay winning some clothes from you, Mike. I used to give him, like, yeah, because I used to get a bunch of clothes, so I, I would, I would be like, all right, well, I'll give you this shirt. For what? first to ten, like let's play for a shirt for Yo. for your fifth year. Yo, you taking the clothes off your back, Mike? No, 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 not off my back, not off my back. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> yo, y'all so savage. I'm like, yo, dude. I got, I, I'm like, yo, I got this shirt. I'll play you for the shirt I wore last week or something like that. Like he'd remember because I would have like mm-hmm. I had like Sean John at the time. So Desmond run into said, I play you for that Sean John you had last week. I, I like, like, yeah, yeah. It'd be like that. Yeah, because yeah, he's like, it, I'll put up forty or whatever for, for your Sean John joint. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, I like we were like, but Mike, tell him how you. I'm degenerate gambler. Tell him how you was getting that though. The Sean John? You, you know, the shirt, the, the hoodie, you, you know, when you was getting stuff. No, no, no. Is this the goodies you talking no, about? No, no, no. That, that I was getting, I had that. I had I had that. That wasn't how I was getting them. I didn't get that that way. Oh, okay. That was only once. Only once? one and done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One and done? Okay, okay. Cool. That was, those were, that was <laughs> a one and done. No, no, that stuff, because cause my mom my mom used to work for um for a bad boy. So she used to get, the care, they used to give care packages for Sean John. So that's how I used oh, to get all that. Okay, okay, which is okay. why I didn't mind put, putting it up because it wasn't like I paid for it. Right, 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 right. So I didn't really mind. Okay. I was about to say, is that the goodies? Uh-huh. Nah, that's not the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I am lost. That's not guy. the goodies. Around the t- look, the, the shit that they talking, I was like around, but I wasn't traveling. You know what I'm saying? I kept an eye on it. So like, I'm, I'm, this is news to me with a lot of shit. I mean, I mean, I knew about the Rashawn shit, but I, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I even mentioned the thing about the dancing. We got oh hit yeah, the- yeah, that was rough. <laughs> he said what? He said what? <laughs> Motherfuckers! For people that don't know who they talking about, it's Huggy Bear 
for people that know, he's, he used to be the, the artist formerly known as Omega Red Guru, mm-hmm. Org. If y'all watch our, um, the true FGC stories, that was based off of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a character I was playing. Right. Rasan. So, yeah, then, then we had all that. I level up with Justin. And then, um, <laughs> yo, it was it was a lot of salt. Like I said, it was a lot of salt going on. Like, yo, peep this. Like, right before Evo. Like, oh, yeah, Mike, yeah. Mike been rivaling with Desmond for quite some time. Quite some, and Even to this day. We're going to get to that. We're going to we gonna get to that. But... Um, Mike, I would say like like when Mike was at the peak of his career, him and Desmond had a first to ten, like like a a, a serious real first to ten for a hundred. What school? And I think it was ten eight. Yeah. So we used to do something, right? What? To... <laughs> Mike. I nice. Like, like, I didn't know that. I'm, just, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we used to do something called um, Mike's Chin. That's what we fused Christian and Mike. Right. Cause... Mike had the godlike execution. I had the strategy. Yes. So. I would I would fuse him. I would coach Mike to beat Desmond, mm-hmm. and then f- he finally got Desmond. Desmond, yo, he, he was, was mad. Salt. That, he, was, that, 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 that was his last hundred for Evo. Yeah, is that yeah. The, I can't believe it. Nah, he nah. he just he just walked he off. Got and up, say, yeah, Shit. and he he <laughs> went to the other room and just laid down, shut the lights off, and was like not talking to nobody. And like we were like, I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at I'm Chris, and Chris that. was like, Chris was like. <laughs> and I, and I, i'm like yo sh- should we check on him he's like nah fuck that let him be and he's like let him hold that shit I'm like, yeah, yeah, it was I'm like, a lot right. of trash talk because like I, I felt bad i was i never wanted anyone to feel bad like that like i felt bad but i mean it was a, he was in his moment he was having his feelings he was like nah let him get through that i'm like all right i'm and done mike, mike beat him with santhrax mike, oh yeah 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 i see i see yeah, i see yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan, that's my head with the he did this man so that was that it just got up. Oh, oh my no. gosh! Yeah. So like yeah, like shit like that. It, it was it was a lot of freaking rivalry going on. Then um, Mike, like so you had, you had taken a nice little break too. I just mm. remember you coming back around Street Fighter Four time. Yeah, I took a break. <clears throat> well, no, I was playing Marvel, but not crazy. That was the only game I would play. And then yeah. when Street Fighter Four came out, I was messing with Rasan. That's when I started hanging out with Rasan more. We were because he lived on 125th, and I would go to, or 135th, and, and we would go to the gym together. Remember, oh yeah, to the yeah, recreation yeah, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was living with um, swim fan. Yeah. So. Ooh. <laughs> so Ooh. we would we would go to the gym, and then Rasan was telling me he's like, "Yo, they got Street Fighter 4 at CF," <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, oh, is it good?" Like I wasn't really into it. I never played Street Fighter that much. Like like hard. I liked the versus game way more. Mm-hmm. So. He was like, yeah, 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 nah, it's cool, it's all, it's all fun and whatever. So yeah, that's when I started getting back in the scene, Street Fighter Four. So I'm sorry, I, I I know you see me like looking at my phone. I'm waiting for a, a phone call because I need to confirm something. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you see me keep looking at my phone. I need, that's why I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I wonder like, what the fuck is he looking at? Yeah, I'm trying to confirm something. I'm sorry, this kind of do kind of does, <laughs> kind of does. Well, yeah. Anyway, go for it. So, <coughs> Mike, tell us about and and yeah, you, you feel free, please. Okay. Tell us about um hashtag fuck Mike. Oh. Well, um. When that, that started your house or is that, it, that 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 started in my house? Yes. That, started mm-hmm. in my that house. was that was when we were playing Marvel Three, right? Marvel Three, yes. Mm-hmm. So we were playing Marvel Three. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember how that came up now. To be honest, I was just being a hater. Might have been. <laughs> like, like I'm gonna be real with you. All right, so basically, Mike used to come through. You know what I'm saying? Marvel 3. This is around the time I started getting better. So Mike was definitely was kind of like that uh, test dummy for, for, for a lot of my setups. That was, that, that's real. That's <laughs> right. I'm not going to say he was ass. He wasn't. It's just I was like, hmm, I wonder if this works. Like Mike was that guy. He was the designated guy that I was I was finding out all my new, my new setups. And he had mm-hmm. pretty good defense. So it gave me more like ample time. Like, all right, if he push blocks here, I could do this. You know what I'm saying? He was pretty much the first bearer of hooking ass. Like he was actually the... Right. The first, the first dude. But I remember we used to stream a lot, and I remember I used to get pretty intoxicated sometimes, and then I would just, I just say, yo, 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 stream. If y'all don't like what he's doing, just say hashtag fuck Mike. It was like some <laughs> shit like that, and then yeah. it just carried over to like the HOC and just yeah. shit like that. Yeah. You will cut no because it, at, at Bum's house, it was more like. Me and Bum had the crazy rivalry going because Bum, oh my God. Bum would not stop. Like if you beat Bum, he won't let you stop playing. And nope. so like he won't let you stop playing until he can figure you out. And so we would just go back and forth. And sometimes I would just be an asshole to him. I'm like, nah, you're good. And I'm not running it back. 
Oh, so he'd be like, "Yo, fuck Mike," and so like he would get salty, and that's kind of like how that started up. Cause I was like, "Yo, when a game if a game comes out, I'm kind of like, all right, if a game drops, I feel like I'm I'm naturally oh like I can start our game off pretty good. Like I have decent bearings when it starts out. Yeah, like, okay, I don't yeah. really got to train. Mm-hmm. Like, I could just play and like kind of like just figure shit out. And um, so like when new games would stop and start start and me and Bum would play each other." And then I would beat him or something. He's like, oh, I just need to figure this out. I need to figure you out. And I'm going to figure this shit you're doing to me out. And I'm like, and like, I think we were playing Injustice at the time. And I was playing mm. Doomsday. And I was being mm. cheap. I had the double the double overhead to him. Mm. And it was like crazy hard to block. And um, <laughs> and he was, <laughs> and I think I had Batgirl too at the time. And I, he was just. That uh, Batgirl shit was cheap. That it shit was, was cheap. cheap. That shit was cheap. It was cheap. So, yeah, <laughs> we would have those times. So, yeah, he would, he would use it then. And then after that, he just hung on it too. So, it was like both you and him. No oh, good. I just tagged it on. It was it was it was just a, a cool thing to do. Like I, I used to go, I see Mike getting his ass ripped. <clears throat> let me catch a hooks in the ass. I'm like, oh fuck Mike. Hashtag fuck Mike. That was the shit right there. And it, it just sticks. It's perfect. I it mean it, it, it does, it does, it does. As long as it's not hateful, I mean I never minded it from Stream Monsters Nobody because it was all fun and games. Yeah, when I did that? it with, when I did it with Yikes, it's all fun and games. Stream Monsters do it. Like I, I had fun. Everyone's having fun. So it's not like everyone's like personally attacking me. So I'm not like gonna take it in any, right. any type of way. Yeah. So it was all good. Mike, Mike Mike's a good sport. We give him a lot of shit. We do. But I, give, I give him shit just to motivate him. Yeah. Like yeah. literally like like a couple minutes before we got here, we was playing some Marvel 2 and I was saying some hurtful things. <laughs> But it, 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 I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I promise you, it wasn't to, di- it wasn't to fuck with him like that, like, to, like on some personal <laughs> shit. Nah, just, give me shit to think about. That's yeah, all. That's, that's, there you go, my man. That's my all man, it is. Right that's there. all it is. Yo, I'm there playing Mike. I'm like, yo, Chris coming in, right? I'm playing Sandthrax in Marvel Two. Chris coming in is like, yo, Mike, Mike Sentinel stepped it up. I'm like, no, he's just randomly launching. <laughs> <laughs> he ran him yo, he literally nah, hit me. Yo, he hit me but, with two random launches. Yo, my man, yo, that's my word. He woke up and launched. Nah, and I but, was in a combo. And then the last then the second time he did push block roundhouse. I'm like, oh, I'm never getting hit with this shit again. <laughs> now nah, but in my in my defense, I only did that because we had just talked about that. We was just talking literally about that. like an hour before I was on the phone with him and Josh, and we were like, yo. Josh is like, yo, you gotta use that. Like, you have to. That's what he was telling yeah, me. And so I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to listen to Josh. What? I'm trying to listen to Chris and say, no, don't. You. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm like, Mike, don't. I'm like, yo, <coughs> don't do that because Mike is stepping the Sentinel. Up. I'm like, yo, listen. You know, like as a fellow Sentinel player, like as a, you know, what I mean, like we we don't do that. Like, there's there's huge consequences to that shit. Right. Don't spam it. You got you got to condition them first, and you got to throw it off sparingly. But. Mike has made it an integral part of his game. Right. You know what I mean? So, so he, he he went there and tried that shit against Yipes and I mean Landon, well, he said <laughs> Nah, when I when I was playing when I was playing him, wait. When I, when I was playing you, I was like, yo, I'm not gonna do it, right? But then in my mind, I just hear Josh saying, yo, just throw that shit out. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yo, I'm just gonna do it right now. Let's see if Josh's right. And it, and he was wrong. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> this shit didn't work out. I was like, yo, yo, you serious? <laughs> yo, I was like, yo, but, right, you can't be serious. Not for nothing. I listen to whatever you say because I'm like, all right, let me listen to what you say. Let me not push so many buttons with Sentinel. Let me try to time them better. Oh, so gosh. I do that. I'm I'm not going to do the launcher unless it's somebody who's who's not good. And I don't respect them. Pretty much. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I, 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 I took offense to that shit, Mike. I looked at my phone for a minute. I look up. Mike is in a storm infinite. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yo, what? You know, and was like... He's doing that fucking launch again. He said, that is the last time you hit me with some scrubby shit like that. <laughs> yo. And I was like, I was like, yo. And the Yice got the Yice was on his asshole shit. It's funny. I was like, yo. I'm like, nah, Mike Settle stepped it up. He was like, no, it didn't. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he said, <laughs> he was like, the fuck out of Mike Settle steps. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. And Chris was like, no, 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 she got good. She got better. I was like, no, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, yeah. it's, 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 all, it's all just, you got you to gotta rag on good Mike. Time. You, y- y'all don't know. You got you to gotta rag on Mike. That's, that's, nah, that's how I mean, it goes. I get it because with y'all, it's like, if you don't, then you're going to let me get away with murder. And then it's like, if if I got the, if I'm, you know what I mean? If, if yep. I'm talking shit, then it's over because I'm, I'm going to talk some wild oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to say little slight comments left and yeah, right. Yeah. So, like, you got to keep me in check like that because if not, and I'm just gonna run loose. It's yeah. like like how I'm talking about jerseys. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like no, no one's gonna say <laughs> nothing because it's like, oh damn, can't beat him. Like oh, you could say something, you could try, right. but like you step up to the plate and then it's not happening. It's like right. everyone else is all fun again. So so mm-hmm. so, so um, <clears throat> let's fast forward a little bit. So we're gonna talk about 
Uh, we do we do have our uh, bots three coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? December twenty eighth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Let, do, we, do do we want to announce it now? Let's I talk about this. the no 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 yeah no yeah no yeah. Let's let's talk about the previous bots first. Um, okay okay oh yeah. So man, fuck that right, shit. Let me let me let me let me jump in. Let me jump in. No 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 Let me jump in. Hold on hold on Mike. Hold on hold on hold on. I made I I made money off of that. Hold on. So Mike was in the house that night. He was saying something along the lines like. Yo, I am not gonna be the one that's gonna have a donut. <laughs> he said, "Yo, Blue Jay." He said, "Blue Jay's not gonna get not one game. Not only did Blue Jay get two games, mm-hmm. but guess who left with the fucking donut at the end of the night? <laughs> this guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You left. You left with a powdery donut. Everyone got in that ass. Mm-hmm. Everybody got in that ass. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, that was that. Hey, um, hashtag last place at bots. Mm-hmm. It was more. It was. You got people like Walter Bacardi questioning yo, whether he yo, should son, be in there. Yo, his, his pop ball was crazy, son. Yeah. Yo, I'm like, what the fuck? Well, you already smoked them. We saw what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. So, um, but anyway. All right. I was being cocky at the time. Mm-hmm. I had, because prior we had that other tournament at the next level, and I had beat Jason after you guys were saying he's so nice. Mm. So I was on a long so, line. So Furious? Yeah. That was way long no, ago. No, no, no. You, you, you so, played in NEC and everything before, after that. No, I know. And I was still doing good. I was still yeah, doing you, decent. No, you were doing, you so, were doing good. So I'm like, oh, I, I always get top eight. Like, in NEC, I got, like, fourth, I think. I don't remember. But No, no Mike is magical in tournament so, play. So I was like, yo, I'm magic. I don't. I wasn't practicing anymore. You know, I was playing. What were we playing? Street Fighter 5, right? Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter yes, 5. We Vanilla. And, um, Vanilla. yeah, we were going harder than that. That's when um, Yikes was scooping your Vega with um, Nakali. Nakali. Yes. And you was, um, you was, uh. Like the Vegas low tier, so I I was low tiering it up. That's just low tier life, yo. I was living it. I, come on, yo, my man. I ain't yo, seen a Vega win ever. It's crazy because Mike is only Holy running Nemo. into people that play a character that just dominates his character or team. So right. Mike is a team role player. That's Magneto so I'm setting the rocket punch, and he's always running into MSP it, players. Matt and, Cable's on and, 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> and and um, MSP destroys team role. So also. For some reason, Mike was running into a lot of Nikalis too. All he was losing to in Street Fighter Five was Nikalis. So he was going to Yipe's house, getting scooped, getting right. draped up, getting mixed. Well, because I mean, everyone like, played Nikali at the time. Because all right, everyone plays MSP because it's cheap. Everyone played Nikali at the time because he was cheap. Mm-hmm. With the, the anti air jab, um, the big hit box. Mm. So, so that was life, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I bought. So I, I went in there like, all right, I'm. I'm magic. I'm gonna just get these wins. I wasn't practicing Marvel anymore, and I was like, I'm just gonna naturally beat you guys. And that didn't happen, mm. which was cool. It was a rude awakening. Mm-hmm. So after that, I wasn't really feeling that. I went out, copped the DC, got the stick again. Mm-hmm. So I got a stick, got a DC. I'm, I'm all mm. right now. So I don't. That's not happening this year. Mm. I hope not. I'm definitely mm. not losing that. I don't. I hope not. It, like if I look at the roster, who would I lose to? Oh man. It might you might be the hardest person because you counter me, you don't naturally beat me. Wow. Um, wow. Ask him, ask him, Shit. Ask him what team is gonna play on me. Wow. But he counters everybody, so it's like he's a counter whore. Almost. I don't counter people. But like that's your tech. Your tech. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, wait, wait. I don't, yo, listen I don't, to this. Wait, wait, listen wait, wait, to this. I don't no, no, no. counter people. I, listen. Yeah, I, I, hold, I, hold, 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 hold. I just make my. I just make my situation. I just level the playing field. Is that leveling the playing field or is that countering? Against you? Against you? No, against everybody. No, no, against you? Against everybody. I counter. Oh, okay. Because Cable's his best character, so I'm going to eliminate that at all costs. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Feel but, free. But feel you counter me. Feel, yeah, you. All right, cool. Hold Just say it what it is. Say, I, say said, it I, said, is. I said against you. Right, yeah, so I'm going to counter you. All right, yeah, cool. So anybody that got the gun, you just got to revolve your, your strategy different, huh? Oh, yeah, they, anytime I see a gun, they're, I, they are going to get Magnash. Okay. Hands down. I want so, two characters that beat him, not one. Anyways, besides you counter, <laughs> besides you countering me. No. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I have a good shot against Josh now, Desmond. Mm. I don't know, but I don't know so much about Desmond. Um, I think I can get Desmond. I just watched Josh smoke Desmond. I don't see how. I want to play Desmond. But again. you're not. But you like Josh. I'm not. Josh got a different play style than me. I know Josh is. Him. Josh is a. He's, he's a visor. He's a hollow. He is crazy. Yeah, he's certified. I don't know. You haven't beaten Desmond for quite some time now. It's been. I beat him this year. Been putting a. a, a uh, up but but guarantee I, there's no donuts this year. Nah, definitely no. Donuts. Okay. Um. Donuts. Nah, this year this year is different. I've been playing a lot more. I did okay at Evo. What did we get at Evo? I got you did great at Evo actually. 
Um, what did I get an Evo? Like top, top five? I think I got fifth at Evo. <clears throat> mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we're okay. We're okay. I did the trailer for, I did the teaser for Bots. Yes, you did. I did last trailer. Mm-hmm. I did the teaser this year. And it's pretty solid. We got some surprises. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got something uh, to announce. You know what? We're going to have a nice little bot special <clears throat> before the actual bots event so everybody can vent out on the table. You know, you're saying things like uh, you kind of like your shot against Desmond. It's going to be really, really. Uh, yeah, man, what do you, you think put about us all that? in the same room, um, man? What do, you th- um, what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, Mike versus Desmond. What team are you picking? Against Desmond? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I might pick Thrax. I'm not going to lie. And, and your son was going to be all right? I, I feel okay with Sentinel versus Desmond. Them, round, them random roundhouse don't work on that man. No, I'm not going to do that on him. <laughs> mm. No, I'm done with that. Ch- that random roundhouse is done. Okay. It's only against people that are... That's done. Okay. Um, I'm going a, I'm to beat Jason because I didn't get to play Jason. Wow. So I want to beat Jason this time for sure. So Mike, yeah, Mike did have a, a an execution list after uh, bots. You know what I mean? He got motivated to get a stick, Dreamcast... Got his peak 360, and he had a list of names that he had to cross off. Yes, I've, I've so, beaten all, almost all of them. So talk about talk, talk about the list from the bottom. Who was first? First on the list was Blue Jay. Mm-hmm. Wiped out. I crossed him off the list. Okay. Mm-hmm. He he. I got my. I I felt good. I've I've, I've beaten him on multiple occasions now. First mm-hmm. ten. So I'm. That's that's done. And so, I mean, he's gonna want to see me again, and we we played a couple, but I, I feel I'm I'm just I'll, I'll beat him more than he could beat me. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> Who else was that? Josh Wigfall was next, right? Did was he next? I think he was next. Okay, so you said Josh. So you said Blue Jay. Blue mm-hmm. Jay. Josh. I think Josh Wigfall was next. Was he next? Either Josh or Desmond. Oh no, Desmond, because I beat Desmond before he went to Combo Breaker. Oh yeah, yeah. When you came on a lunch break, right? Yeah. I want lunch break. I can't beat Desmond. First attempt. And then, then I played Josh, and I beat Josh a couple first attempts. I think the only one I had, or no, did I beat Jay? I played Jason, but I don't think we never played like a serious first attempt. We played light. I mean, I, I can beat Jason. That's not like he he doesn't dominate me. So, but that's just casual. We're not like seriously playing his first attempt. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've yet to do him, and you. We haven't played a first attempt. Okay, Mike. So let, let, let's cut the shit. Let's cut the shit. Um, where do you see yourself in bots this year? Like uh, a top three? Uh, yeah, top... no, definitely, definitely a top three. Okay, it depends. There's a if if I can if overcome his oops his countering, my countering. I really gotta. The, my biggest thing. I, I I told Chris this already. I said, yo, I really come for you this year. I need to x him off. He's probably the smartest player in the room at that time. At in, when we were at bots, he's yeah. probably gonna be the smartest person. Once I overcome him, everyone else isn't. As, as big of issue. I'm not really worried about Josh. I'm not worried about Desmond. Damn. I'm not worried about Josh 360. Wow. I'm not worried about Jason. I'm worried about a little bit, but only because if I get hit, he's he, he can get it going. Um, but as long as I, I keep I keep you know what I mean. He's not random enough where I'm gonna be worried and scared like Josh. It's not like oh <laughs> I gotta worry about that. It's more along the lines of of like all right, just don't let him hit you and just play 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 the game how it's played because he's gonna play it back. So we're gonna play the same game. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Whereas when I play Josh, we we're not playing the same game. I'm Josh playing a game. Erratic. He he ends up doing something and then like things just work out for him, which is annoying. But mm. um, <laughs> it's annoying. Mm. It's it's uncombo. It's not even like a, a purpose reset. Yo, we were playing the other day. He he was doing rom to me and then like he messed. <laughs> oh no, it was to Chris maybe. He messed up and like he dashed down and did nothing. So he got the float and then he did short short and it hit an overhead. But he wasn't. That wasn't what he wanted. Mm-hmm. Me no. <laughs> <laughs> Those are. I am a very. I'm a, I am a very avid. Uh, I'm, I'm a guy that really sits in the back and really observes. Okay. So <laughs> I know, I know so a lot like, of minute details about things a lot like of shit. that. Things like that happen um, with Josh, but that it doesn't happen with Jason. So, I, so Jason, I feel like if we play, he he's gonna set me up, or I'm gonna hit him and set him up and kill him. I feel like it's gonna be more. More natural, you know what I mean. The flow, yeah, 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 flow yeah. will be a little more natural. You're gonna understand what's going on. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's really the only thing that come down to it. If if I don't let him mount offense enough to to you know not let me play anymore because he played MSP too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, 
Everybody plays MSP. Yeah, seems Blue like. Jay. Hmm. Nah, not worried about. I guess I th- just. I think. I think you should be worried about Desmond. Though. I, mean, I mean, I'm. I'm. I am, but I'm not. I don't know what it is. It's just maybe because I haven't played Desmond in a while. I'm not really thinking about him. Okay. It's. It's, maybe it's just that I don't know. It's not like I'm like, damn, like I'm really, I'm, I'm actually just gunning for you. To be honest, I really want to just crush you in there. Like I don't. Do you I feel like you, you feel like you win bots if you beat Chris? I have a, be, I have a way better chance. Yeah, I, I actually don't want him to win at all. Mm, so you I want, want him to everyone go with the to beat him. I want everybody to beat him. I don't know why I just can't stand his whole, the whole master tactician, <laughs> countering everybody. I just want everyone to overcome that and beat this guy. I don't counter people though. <sighs> Who did I counter? All right, you pick you pick Santrax on Desmond. That's a counter. A Santrax, a mirror match is a counter. Yeah, that's not, not a counter. It's not, it's, it's not your shit, yo. But you're not playing your <laughs> shit. You're playing a different team. It's not your shit. That's not a counter that's though. Not, but, but that's not your I, shit. I, I, I get that. And then you it's know not, what? Wait, 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 it's not my shit. But is that a counter? So hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So if if I'm it's like a oh, counter to how you if play. I play, if I play Geef. And then somebody picks D for me. It's a counter. <laughs> no, it's a counter to how he plays, though. You countering his play style. I'm, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not. He just needs more firepower. Mm. That's not a counter. That's, Continue on. You countering his play well, style. I counter. Continue. What's your main team? My main team. Yeah. What do you wait? D- define main. What's your main? What's your what's your shit? Your, your, your top one. My best team. Yeah. Team Matrix. Mm. What, what what that team consists of? Storm, Sentinel, Cyclops. Okay. And uh, what did you pick on Desmond? Sentinel, Storm, Commando. <laughs> In that order. First. Yeah. And then he picked Cable. He he countered me, actually. Okay. He picked Team Scrubbers. And then I played Storm, Sentinel, Commando. Nice. Man, right. that, that, that don't sound like you mean. I got Storm and Sent. No. No. No, 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 no. Listen, no, no. listen, 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 listen. All I do is level the playing field. Desmond has cap. I leveled it with cap. Proceed. Who else did I counter, though? Who else did you counter? Uh, you countered me. You uh, already said that, I didn't, though. I didn't counter you, though. You what did you pick on Mike? I played Mag, Storm, Cyclops. That counters Team Row. No, no. But did he play Team Row? I didn't. But he didn't play Team Row. What did he play? But I did play Mag- Team Row. No, Nito, I played that for Cable, two games. Cable, Cyclops. I only, oh, play, I only played that, that for two shit. games. Yeah, I only played that for two games. So and actually, I played in actuality, I didn't counter you. you. I picked first. My team was on the screen. I wasted no time. Yeah, but you know, I'll, I'm, I'm either going to pick Row or not. I, you didn't. You didn't so, pick Row. So I was like, I'm, okay, but okay, so should I go in there being like, all right, let me pick a team and counter myself? But you didn't. You but just I, picked the team and you were like, all right, well, you're either I, countering yourself or you're not. I, I didn't counter you, though. You, you played Magneto Cable Cyclops. I didn't Listen, counter. I just remember, look, Bots was kind of a blur because I was a bit drunk. You know what I'm saying? I was having that a good old crazy. time. Yeah, you had a lot of. But who else? No, I, I want to continue, though. Who else? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. I just okay. remember mainly you said that you was a tactician, a master tactician and strategist. Master strategist and tactician. And tactician. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I, I, I smell some counters there. Where's the counter? Damn, I don't know. Like I said, I was a little drunk. There was no counters. I countered no one. I don't know, man. I'm you counter play styles. You, I know you counter Desmond. Mm. You countered me for wait, sure. Wait, 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 wait. How was you, a I don't mirror know, match? I don't even know what you played on Josh. You Mike, probably, Mike, you played how scrub, was, how you played was a mirror match on... a counter? That, you, that, yo, who what did you play on Josh? What's the time? Time, time, time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's talk numbers. So Santax versus Santax, what a six four Santax? No, I'm not talking it's, about the it's team. Five, five. I just said you played you counter his play style. I didn't say anything about wait, the team. Wait, wait, wait. So what you're the... saying is it's not even the numbers, it's just play style. You count you countered him. You so, countered wait, his play wait, style. Wait, 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 wait. So why would you pick Why would you pick Why would you pick Thrax? I countered play styles? Why would you pick Thrax? Why would you pick Santrax? I didn't pick Santrax to counter any Desmond. I picked Santrax <laughs> to level the playing field. Listen, let me look when I play people with my team. Especially against Santrax. Santrax beats my team. Mm-hmm. So if I'm playing Desmond, he has a natural advantage over me from the team that he plays. So all I did was level the playing field to say you're going to beat me and not the matchup. When I play Blue Jay, he's a Team Scrub player. Mm-hmm. Team Scrub versus Team Matrix is a 7-3 matchup. Mm-hmm. I picked Santrax on Blue Jay. I said you're going to beat me and not the matchup. I played Josh. I picked Matrix. He's an MSP player. MSP beats Matrix. I didn't counter Josh. I played Jason. I picked MSC, MSP beats MSC, and I picked Matrix. I didn't counter people. What'd you pick on Josh 360? Cable Sentinel Cyclops. Mm. Why? Because I know he's rusted and he's gonna get hit by Gene Spice. Mm. Couldn't do that with Storm? No, 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 no. I wanna shoot. Mm. Pull! Pull! <laughs> Goosh! 
So, oh. so all all I I didn't counter anybody. I didn't I didn't see I didn't see Josh three sixty pick team um combo fin and I picked MSP. I didn't counter people. Okay. That's a counter. That's not okay. a counter actually. MSP beats that team, yeah. Which which rocket punch? MSP beats team combo fiend, yipes. No. Yipes. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I just know that I, I beat him at the beginning of the match. So <laughs> <laughs> you have typhoon assist. Stop. So? What do you mean so? Maneuver. What do you mean so? Yo, we're not gonna sit here yeah, and talk I know. about this. Man. I know, I know. We're not gonna talk about this. I know. <laughs> fucking counter. <laughs> Bottom line is, I didn't counter anybody. You fucking counter. I didn't counter anybody. I well, I want to see you lose the most. <laughs> Bottom line, straight up, no frills. That's what it is. It is what it is. I respect that, though. I, I respect I'm that. I'm telling you, your face is not like I'm hiding. I'm, I'm no, not no, talking no, no. That, that's good I'll, shit. I, I, you, I, you know I, I like, like that. That's what it is. <laughs> I want to see you lose. That's all. I like that. Bro. I don't. I want. Everybody's played a lot more than last year, so it's a lot less rust, mm -hmm. and I, I feel like it. You should not be on top anymore. I hear that. I don't want. I, I at least don't want that. At least from me. As long as I do my part, that's all I care about. Hmm. Mm, it sounds like there was a little meeting amongst you guys. Nah, no meeting. That's just that's just that's my thought. As long as you do your part, your part in a, a, another oh, master yeah, plan. Yeah, that shit kind of sounded suspect. Nah, 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 nah. That sounded kind of suspect. Is that a hashtag? Don't let Chris win. No, no there's no hashtag. Don't let Chris win. So that kind of sounded suspect, Chris. I don't know. Hey, no. Your part. Pick Who else has that. a part then? I'm saying do what's my the, part. What's the other parts? <laughs> Yo, let's crack it open. Yo, let's crack it over. Yo, y'all was, was, was talking some shit, huh? Nah, yeah. nah, nah. No yeah. shit was talking. Yeah. Yo, nah, no shit was talking. I'm just saying. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it, keep it. Do buck, my Mike. part and beat me. I just want to beat you. If everyone buck. can beat you, that's it. That's on them. What's the rest of it? I'm just talking about me. What's the rest of it? Nah, there is no rest of it. There's no rest of it. Sing like a canary. What? Sing, sing. Y'all was talking? No, no one was talking. Y'all was talking? Definitely not. Hashtag me, Chris. Fuck it. Do you feel like you're the most problematic player to these guys and bots? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel like you're better than all those guys in bot? Let's say, let's say, let's say, all right, let, 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 let's go to bots too. Did you feel like he was better than everyone there? You did get top three? Yes. At the time, I thought he was the best there. Okay. Okay. What about now? I'll be honest. No. Yes. Now, no. I don't, I don't think. Okay. Look, look. Not, not the same. I don't think, not the same. No, you guys, you guys definitely got better, but I don't think any of you guys are better than me. <clears throat> Woo! I hear that. that I, I would God damn it, the truth comes out. I wouldn't want you to say that though. Woo! If if you said that we were, I'd be like, oh, you're done already. Like you already lost. Yeah, so, no. So I no, I'm, I'm actually that. mean it though. I'm yeah, it's not it's just cool, talk. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not just trash talking. But you guys Ooh. definitely got better. I'm I, it's not gonna be free. It's not gonna be walking apart. I can lose. Oh, you guys shit. can you guys can get me. But better than better than you know. No. Absolutely not. Are you better than Desmond? Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Fucking nice. Yes. I'm loving hey, this, this attitude. Is, look, 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 this, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. This is the thing with me and Desmond. I am overall technically better than Desmond, but he is a better competitor than me because he has this will where he just disregards anything and, and he just he has a will to win. That aspect of the game he definitely has over me. You better than Wickful? Yes. But he also has a will to win. You, you better than G Concepts? That's debatable. I'm smarter, but he definitely has the the edge in execution. But hold on, hold on. The, this is this right here. You're better than Blue Jay. Yeah. You I think you sure. No, no offense, but I think I think I think most of us are, are about Blue Jay. Okay. Yeah, you know he 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 has a few habits that he just can't let go of. Cole Keffer. <laughs> 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 Cole Kaffers? Blue, no, Blue, no, no, no. Blue Jays are a very smart player, but he has some detrimental habits that he has trouble letting go of. Cole Kaffers. Yeah, he causes his first. Yeah, I will, that I will say. Um, yeah, I mean, and he's very random. I mean, I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a yop. He's definitely a yop. You're better than Mike. Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, he did say he wants a gun for you, so like th yeah, th yeah, that, yeah. that that adds more weight to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Damn, yeah. Um, yeah. Mike's not there yet. He's okay. He's okay. He just, it's just, just, you know, yeah. He's not, he's not there yet. That, talk about what Yo, I ain't gonna at. hold you, son. Like this whole time, I know you're talking all this shit about who's better. I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck the syndicate came about. B, what what does it mean? Oh wow, I don't remember. I'm actually still on that shit. Wow, yeah, I forgot. I, for, I legit forgot. I, I, I yeah, I, me too. I just know it has something to do because the money sign with the S. I don't remember. Mike talk too much. 
talk too much. The S. We talk too much, Wait, wait, wait. The, the S. <laughs> the dollar sign. <laughs> he said the S. It wait, was wait, like wait, a big aim combo. Ass? I mean, if I could get you the aim log, you know what I mean? Yo, my man hey, well, instant, hey. Hey, hey, well, instant messenger. <laughs> Yo, remember I used to roll in the CF with the sidekick, though? No, f- <laughs> fact. Mike was in CF. I was able to talk on aim. Day. Yo, the was sidekick man. was crazy. That Yo, was that's, so that one, that's one of the times. Let me let me tell you guys That was so fact. good at the, that back in the day. About Marvel 2, Mike taught me about Unfly. I've seen I Mike... Did. I see Mike, um, you know, using Sentinel, ironically, and uh, <laughs> I said, "Yo, how do you unfly and still throw out an attack like that?" I kid you not, I swear this to God, isn't, this isn't true. This is what Mike did to me. The this voice is what he true. said. He looked. He was on the. I was younger. Okay. He was young. He was, I was real younger. young. No facial hair. Skinny as fuck. <laughs> he, I'm, he, I'm right here on his left. Mike said. He said. <laughs> <laughs> I said I had to be 19. He, he was looking at the then he said peep the eye said it's a special moment. <laughs> That's false. <laughs> I did not say it like that. I kid you not. No, the exaggeration is crazy. <laughs> no, it's not. Hundred percent. Yo, yes, I kid you not, bro. Yo, come on, bro. Yo, bro, yo, yes, yo, yes, yo, yes, yes. <laughs> yo, yo. What was with the eye though? He said That's yo, what he did. That is the, not the what I blood. did. Yo, yo, bro, he was like this. He said, he said at the spectrum mode. <laughs> Yo, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Guys. <laughs> Yo, come on. All right. Good shit. Laugh it off. <laughs> Yo. All right. Yo, from now on, anytime y'all see Mike, I just want y'all to tell him. At the spectrum mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody get defense. He said, I Yo. like how it was, it was it was linking up. He said, I was 19 at the time. Yeah. Nah, because he always <laughs> says that, though. He always says that. And I'm like, Yo, I never said it like that. But like, he just mauled. When, when, <laughs> he just when, mauled. <laughs> see, that's not me. That's Arthur. Arthur. Oh. How you know? Because you're talking like Arthur. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just mauled. That's how Arthur talks. It does it. That's a fact. Okay. Um, Not all the way through, but it's, uh, we, we exaggerated. It's, it's there. It's, it's, it's there. <laughs> it's a little exaggerated. Yo, Just have to continue, uh, man. Uh, um, it's a little exa- exaggerated. All right, cool. We leave it at that. Point. As long as you, that. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got to roll the eyes, yo. The face was on the monitor. <laughs> he said, he the, said. the turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the head, the head kind of came up. Off the, he said, "It's the special mole." <laughs> <laughs> explain yourself. What did you explain? How, how, well, I lost, man. What the fuck? What was you gonna say? It don't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> it don't fucking matter, Mike. Oh, it's oh, over. But oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh gosh. Okay, we good? Yeah. Um, okay. Now I'm gonna I wanna move on to a next topic, Mike. Uh concerning you. A lot of people don't know. <laughs> um Another one of your actual uh, skills, and uh, you've been a very integral part of throughout the community as of like, I would say like the past five years and everything, like helping people, helping people and individuals grow the community. Mm-hmm. Now, Mike is actually <clears throat> uh, really good at running tournaments too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Extremely good. You know what I mean? Like he, he's ran like some tough tournaments <coughs> brackets. Um, he's, he's helped put a lot of input and in, like a lot of bums tournaments. Facts. And um, like even like DTN and stuff like that. So, let's talk about that that side of it. You, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm surprised like you never thought about throwing like on? yeah, like running your own tunnel, being a, being a TO somehow because you actually do a real good job of making sure that things run efficiently, right. and you actually give um really really solid input and advice on how to make things run efficiently. Right. Um. I don't even know how I got into it. It was more along the lines of like. I'm pretty good at like visually watching someone do something and then like just mimicking that. Mm-hmm. So like I might have watched like Jet Fee or someone do a tournament and at the break, and like I was like, oh, I'm I'm gonna do that because like when we wanted to have tournaments, everyone was like, oh, I don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'm more of a like <clears throat> like let's let's get shit done. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna learn and do it and I'll do it because I want to make shit nice. You know what I mean? I want to be able to have, like have nice things and and you know what I mean whatever. So. I would just 
I just got into it. I was just like, all right. And then like, I don't know, like, I guess planning and, and stuff like that really like goes well in my head. That's just that's how I, I do things. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going out, like I think of like, all right, well, I'm, in, I'm meeting you at two. Like we're going to come at two. I'm going to, you know, make sure everything's right and make sure every whatever we're doing is, is planned out well enough that we're able to, you know, have a good time. Yeah. So <clears throat> just, I mean, because I like fighting games in the community like that like i always just like got involved in it like i'm like all right well i'll start running brackets for us at cf mm -hmm. you know if we don't have the pay printer paper out people are like oh we don't have the printer paper out that was back in the day whereas yeah. now they have challenge and stuff Shit. but yep so mm -hmm. i was like oh well i'll draw it and i'll make sure that it works so that we're not you know what i mean so, yep, we mess up. so did. <laughs> i would draw it by hand and do it i'm like all right well you know time you know i, I started planning time because i'm seeing different stuff running into speed bumps where i'm like oh you know, no one's playing on the small machine and we just getting stuck on this and we're getting playing for hours now. We got to, you know, utilize time better. So I'll just start. All right. Well, let me apply that. We got to use more cabinets now. Make sure no one's playing on both of them. Yeah. Mm. Um. So I just got in, That's how I got into it all. When I started, you know, we'll bum. I, I watch a lot of like Twitch. I'd like to see how other people do things or I'm at, at tournaments. I like to see how tournaments are because if a tournament is good, I like to like take the good stuff. What's a good tournament other... to you? What's a, what's a successful tournament to you? <clears throat> other than, other other than Evo? No, no, no not, not, not specifically oh, what tournament. Like what Just in general? Key, what key factors make a tournament successful? Um, I think visibility to, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to see what what's out there to, to do. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So everyone sees like, oh, there's these games over here and there's these games over here. And okay. so that, you know what I mean? Visibility is a big thing. Being able to see when you're walking around, knowing where to go. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Signs like signage and visibility <laughs> is huge for me. Like. Cause I don't like going somewhere and I'm like, I don't know where I'm going now. I'm yeah. just walking around room to room looking for stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like lost. Like, oh, well now I remember where everything is. But like, does, if my mom came up, uh, you know what I mean? If it, yeah. Wait, yeah, is yeah. she going to find me? Oh, I'm in Marvel. You know what I mean? I'm where the Marvel 2 is. Yeah. Well, where is that? Okay. So visibility of things and signage is huge. Um, I'm big on time, but not too big. Cause I know how players are. A lot of people like it's hard to link a lot of people up to be on the same time schedule yeah but time like at least if it's in the same time block you know what i mean like if you have a three hour block for a tournament and like we get the the pools done at that time then i like that so that's big on me when i go to tournaments that's what i look at like if we got the block done as long as i was able to play when i when they told me i'm able to play mm -hmm. or or in that time block you know what i mean between let's say it was like between two and four this is your pool even if i started playing at three <clears throat> As long I I I'm there between that block, you know what I mean? That's that's where I should be. So if I start playing at three to four, that's fine. Um, and then other than that, like I guess something to spectate, something to to be able to like when I'm watching the main stage, make it that makes me want to watch the main mm, stage. You know what yeah. I mean? To make me want to go sit over sit, sit up at front and watch the main stage. Okay. Go, those three things and maybe food i guess outside of like the game itself just being able to eat and not having to leave the venue and go out and because then i'm worried about not playing you know what i mean your, your name is called and then yeah getting, getting dq right? right so stuff like that stresses you out where a lot of players tend to not want to eat and you know what i mean they'll just stay there because if they leave then you know people can't find you and then you end up getting dq'd or you come back and you're like oh i was here i went to go eat and then it becomes a whole big mess right 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 no oh, yeah, i'm not a big a fan of that um so yeah, just being able to play, see things, and makes it a good event for me. And then after that, any, anything else on top of those things make it make it with just better in, in in a whole. So those are my big things. Okay. For tournaments, um, yeah, like stage stuff. Make you know, make it so it's like I feel I'm I'm in a special area. You know, I can I can be man. Yeah. Yep. You just gotta man, make it, just make it feel special when I when I feel like I'm playing in like a. Uh, uh, you know, I'm an airplane hanger or something. It doesn't make you know what I mean. It's like, oh, we're here, but like, I don't feel com you know what I mean. You yeah. just don't feel like comfortable, right? So, so like, one thing I want to say, like, sh all right, number one, shout out to Andy City of Brass. You know what I mean? But for, um, you know, doing this thing, holding uh, a tournament hit in New York City, which is not an easy thing to do at all. No, you know what I mean. And like, he gets <clears> a lot of flack for challenges that arise like a lot of flack a lot more than he should mm -hmm. but you know one thing is just not an easy thing to do so let me ask you like like 
this this is like you know the the capital of the you know damn near the world new york city yeah so what do you think are some of the challenges and humps to have the one in new york yeah and to you know to get to get over to, to have a, a real good successful <clears throat> tournament and, and chime in here too guys with that I got you. in, in your, your got opinion you. about that i got you the big humps in new york is just being able to rent space in new york is expensive space in new york is also a lot of space that you can get is also small because they can kind of just chop everything up and just keep breaking it down to splitting up like oh you get this is not um in new york itself it's because it's such a condensed city traveling in here is a little hard if you're not from here so driving or taking a taxi can be kind of crazy you know what i mean um (laughs) and then you don't know how to take the trains yet or anything like that yeah so so it's difficult um what else is there what else is there um yeah just that those things are make it difficult alone so i mean with like dtn it was it, i thought it was amazing this year because it was on 34th street you mm-hmm. know what i mean it's in like for 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 New York players in general, people, a lot of people in New York tend to not go out of their boroughs. Mm-hmm. So people people mm-hmm. from the Bronx will stay at the Bronx and stay at Bums. People from Brooklyn will stay at Next Level. Like yeah. they never really like Brooklyn. People will never go to the Bronx. Or I mean, they do, but not as often. Yeah. And it's not a it's not a it's not a quick trip. You know what I mean? No, yeah, it's, it's not. So it's I not. get it, but like you know, a lot of people won't do the do the whole travel thing. Like back when we were younger, we were traveling everywhere because. I honestly just wanted to be everywhere. I mean, mm-hmm. Anywhere that we were playing or that they were going to have a tournament, I wanted to be at. But it's a little different now because there's internet now. People play online. So people Fact. are a little, I guess, comfortable. But it's cool because there's more players. But the um, the thing about it was like, I don't know. He had, I guess DTN had some hiccups, mm-hmm. which is, it happens. And it's just like you, you live and you learn type of yeah. thing. So it's it's definitely evolved way better from when I first went. The first DTM was in Flushing in, like, a small hotel. Right. You know what I mean? So it wasn't as spacious. I felt that this one was more spacious. It's, it's, it's evolved. So mm-hmm. for New York itself, it's, I think it's a good thing because it can only get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and the thing is, like, so what, what really bothers <clears throat> me is that a lot of the complaints are coming from, you know, people here in New York City. And instead of being grateful that we have a tournament here in new york city mm-hmm. you know what i mean something a, a, a subway tournament you know what i mean you don't you don't you can take the train right home you don't right. gotta worry about getting a room or hotel room you know what i mean like we we know the city very well you know what i mean <clears throat> rather than being grateful that we have someone someone is doing something for new york city mm-hmm. and having a tournament here in new york city people want to complain and just point fingers say everything that xyz did wrong you know what i mean like right. that mentality definitely hurts i'm um, you know i mean we spoke before about like part of what made ceo so successful was people working together and, right their and, community and came their community together came to together, together yeah, yeah. and helped oh, out oh man that's a fact yeah, yeah. i mean that, that ceo CEO's, ceo's definitely one of my top favorite tournaments yeah even though it doesn't have like i go i went last <laughs> year just to spectate remember mm-hmm. i i didn't i wasn't playing nothing i was, I was just like yo i'm just gonna go have a vacation spectate and mm-hmm. it's it was still a good like i had a good time without yeah. even having to be playing any games you know so that that's a good tournament um but they 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 did that as a community that the orlando community with jabali and them they came together and they just did that you know what i mean he's like he brought he brought everyone together he's like yo i need everyone to help me run tournament you know i mean help run brackets every so their whole community did that whereas like dtn is a little different that because new york's is the i don't know it's borough based like yeah you know what i mean like not everyone helps out and when they do everyone it's just i don't know i'm not sure how to explain i mean it. i mean look uh not even a piggy bank just um to give that oh wow you know what hold on time out time out time out <coughs> yo, yo desmond what's good? yo what's going on baby you chilling I'm good. Listen, man, um, you live on the No Frills podcast right now, so I just wanted to ask you a question, all right, because since these guys didn't want to tell me, you know what I'm saying? I actually want to know what, what, what this means. Uh, you got some time, right? Damn, you couldn't wait. Sh- shut up, <laughs> Mike. My bad. Yo, what, what up, Des? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it ain't going to take too long, baby. I just need, it's, it's, it's short and sweet. Yeah, yeah, I was going to call fucking Desmond. Are you serious? Yo, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. 
All right, so brother, so look, we 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 here with Mike, right? Mike is the guest this week, right? Mr. Mike Williams. Um, basically, you know, we go into the origins, you know, his side or whatever the case is, and then uh, you know, we was talking about the syndicate and all that, and then in the back, and then um, you know, I asked him a question. I'm like, yo, how did y'all come up with the name syndicate? And these guys was like, just didn't want to talk about it. So I'm like, and then you know, I'm trying to get the answer from 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 Chris, and you know, he being a little shaky about it. So now I'm asking you, what what where did syndicate come from? Where did Cindy come from? Yo, 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 Des, Des, I told him, wait, wait, wait until your episode, baby. Don't give him that yet. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. He's here now. He's, nah, nah, First off, Des, he's been here. He's been here already. Des, don't give him that. Don't give him that, Des. Wait for your episode, baby. Listen, 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 listen. I actually have to think about it because I'm trying to remember where that shit came from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dollar sign clap, baby. Dollar sign either, clap. Man. I don't remember either. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you know we'll hold that out. Hopefully you remember by the time we get on the show again, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Love. Yeah, fucking holler at Desmond. That shit was killing me. I'm there, I'm like, what the fuck is they call? Yeah, I'm gonna call him. Anyway, so back back yeah, finish, um, finish up. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking about um you was you was chiming in on um what make what what makes yeah, a good the, turn yeah he was saying like, he was saying like the boroughs they don't really no no I wasn't gonna piggyback on that I wasn't I wasn't I was gonna most uh, talk about how um the original question was what it's a successful tournament in New York that's what it was right mm-hmm. no nah, just I think it's just in general yeah like what makes a what makes a good tournament for me like just the whole experience all right so look at the end of the day I feel like tos nowadays I think they're scared to just go back to basics. I think obviously you know it's it's kind of scary. It's a little frustrating now because you know you got the tours and there's mad people involved now, so that's harder, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like a, a big space with just a two floor venue, like it's 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 fine with me as long as it don't gotta look pretty. I don't care if it's in the Statue of Liberty. I don't care. What I'm saying as long as uh, it introduces the players to something more comfortable, accessible. You know what I mean? As long as they have a show to watch and as long as it runs on time, I think it's good. And I think the biggest thing is if you got something to do around the tournament once the tournament's done, because you know it's not. Everybody's yeah. not promised to win in the freaking tournament. Obviously, it's a top eight. There's only one can win. Only one can win. So there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be drowning in pools and shit. What can they do with their time while they're out there where mm-hmm. they can still get their bang for their buck? That's how I think right. about it every single time. You know what I mean? So obviously, the things that come to mind is like 24-hour venues. Them shits is fire. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, there's people that's more grown folks in the FGC. So mm-hmm. they want to do like shit out of town late night you know what i mean mm-hmm. so definitely have something that could accommodate and you know and I'm, I'm 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 gonna tell you this andy had the right idea i just felt like it was just scrambly everywhere when it came to the timing when right. it came to the schedules apparently there was issues with him and a couple of people that wanted some monitor that, that was running some monitors i'm not even gonna get into that because i don't even know how to fuck what what caused it whatever does it doesn't apply to me mm-hmm. but because that drama happened <clears throat> everybody else had to suffer yeah you know what right. i'm saying so it's like little shit like that that you got to take in consideration you know what i mean like it's just keeping it simple. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, let's say if I had the opportunity to run a tournament, it'll literally be a two-day tournament flat. No three days. Two-day tournament flat. You get there on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, boom. Um, get the tours, you know what I mean? Uh, involved, obviously, that's trying to get involved. You know what I mean? So, like, obviously, DTN had... Uh, CPT. CPT. Did they have a dojo? They had Tekken, yeah. They had Tekken They had dojo. dojo. Okay, so definitely I will make those my priorities. But I'll have a room just for that. And she did. You know what I mean? Which she did. And then just make sure that that runs on time. Like, don't let nothing else interfere. Make sure those two things run on time. Right. And then you go with everything else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because when it comes to tours, stuff like that, we got to make sure that that's out the way. Right. I mean, so nobody get in the mix. Nobody be on Twitter talking about, oh, my God, my pool. It was supposed to start, like, at fucking 11. But it started at, like, 3 and shit. You know what I mean? Then that's already a bad look. Because people already seeing it from now. So, hey, well, damn, what the fuck's going on over there? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just little things like that. Like, just accommodate the players. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like I said, me, I'll, I'll have a basic hotel. That shit will be basic as fuck. Just give me two floors. Give me 24 hours. Make sure the food is around there. You know what I mean? And mind you, I'm talking like I ran a tournament before, which I haven't. The only thing I've done was one-day tournaments, which was uh, the Curly Mustaches. Mm. And I took it on the road. But, you know, to touch up on what you said about people coming together to help, that's how my, my, my events were successful. Like, I had guys like Mike on the bracket. You know what I mean? I had people coming in that was involved with stuff like uh, Ultimizer. You know what mm. I mean? Ultimizer, get on. He get people <coughs> fucking... Hyped up, let people know that everything's running smooth. Like the help of the community definitely brings it in. But the thing is, the problem is the community just expects too much. That's the problem. Like, like let's say if I'm gonna hire a bracket runner, or whatever, 
uh, a good like five out of ten times there's gonna be somebody asking you okay am i gonna get paid for this or something like that like yo, you gotta keep in mind like people don't got no bread like that and i'm saying like people just put in they chop up just right. so they could run the tournament that's it and they're not even promised to go plus and i'm saying uh, go go uh positive instead of a negative you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's like you just gotta help out you know what i mean like i'm not gonna sit i'm not gonna sit here and and, and not say to the to to not try to get his funds back you know what i mean right but at the same time a lot of these guys don't got <laughs> budgets and stuff like that that's why like the tours help and stuff like that because yeah. it does bring in more heads yeah, and then it does bring in more flow for, for for people to get paid for to do stuff like that you know what i mean which i agree that's, that's what i was thinking too is like when i when i if i help someone out like andy or bum or something i'm just like people companies pay people that to, to, for that advice you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i'm i'm just doing it because i want you to, to to succeed i want i want yeah. it to be nice over here you know what i mean i want yeah. people to have fun i want it to grow i don't want people to be like oh if they come from france like oh man new york was horrible for when i went there or yeah i went mm -hmm. to bum's house and it was like the worst experience i want i want it to just be fun for everyone that's watching that's not here and and that it that does come you know what i mean because not everyone can come also so people that watch bum or people that watch andy stream or like next levels it, it, it's pretty basic it has it, it has its own little one two combos or it's set so i just want people to have fun when they do those things ect mm -hmm. whatever like i never want them to not do well so you know i mean i i will i'll help out for free it's not like i'm like yo you got to give me some money if i'm gonna give you advice you know what i mean like yeah i'll give you advice and it'll, it'll definitely help you but you gotta pay yeah. me you know what i mean because uh, i just think we should help each other no, it is what it Locally. is. And look, and <clears throat> from everything that I just said, like that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? I don't know how it really is to run a two-day tournament because that's not even including your paying for the internet or freaking uh, hiring people to get involved. Who that? I thought that was me. So uh, hiring people to get involved, like the streamers and stuff like that. Right. I mean, who knows if people actually need security? Like, I don't know how that shit works. But this, be me based on me being a player at the time, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a commentator now, but it still applies like because I still want to see matches. I still want to, because as a spectator now at this point, I want to see matches. I want just, I just want a, a smooth show, man. At yeah, the end of the day, show and that's have a all good it time. is. That's it. That's it. All that extra shit. That's when people <clears throat> don't get cranky and whatever the case is. When shit is too, too overpacked, mm -hmm. or once one game just runs late, that means because that one game is late, everything else is late. Mm -hmm. Like it's just little shit like that. People just gotta. I feel like just gotta refocus on what's important. Damn, that's definitely that's okay. I mean, people gotta keep people gotta focus on what impo what's important, and that's the the people that's there, the show. You know what I mean? It's all about the show. Cause I remember, look, we did bots in the freaking basement, and mind you, not a lot of people could go in there, cause not uh, it's not a spectator event, like to go in and see it in person. Right. But it was just mainly focused on the competitors. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm, I'm it's, it's a bit off topic, cause it's not really a big tournament like that, but it's just an example. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, in terms yeah, of yeah. what what makes people comfortable. You know yeah. so. Yeah. That's how I look at. It. Cool. It's more communication to it. Let's keep. Let's, let's be honest, man. Too like a lot of people, they be just getting in the front lines, like talking to people and shit, and be like, "Yo, man, if you do this with, for me, I'll do such and such." Like, like, just put everything out on the table first. Like, put everything out on the table. Talk about it. Yeah. See what some what, what what such and such brings to the table. See what such and such brings to the table. I just hate that last minute shit. Like, don't be like, "Yeah, I got this event popping." Da 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 da. Oh, but by the way, this is what such and such. Mm -hmm. Or this was such and such. You know what I mean? Like, not like just put everything out on the table so everybody can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, just just before we wrap up, um, you have, you have any other questions for Mike? No, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, nothing else. Right, nothing right. else. I'm good. Just really, so really quick, um, Mike, I <clears> want <throat> you to tell us, um, from worst to best, your top five animes of all time. Damn. Top five animes, worst to best. Yeah. My top five. See, I can't even go that way out either. Shit. Because I don't um, watch black shit. I now when you say worst to best, like he actually had to sit through and, and see something, and then at the end when it's all over, like that shit was ass. No, 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 no. His his five five favorite. Oh, but just least to best. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, damn. Least to best. This is rough. It's always hard for people. I'm gonna put. Damn, five. Let me see. Let me get my five first. Mm -hmm. Give me five first. So, all right. My my five. My five is gonna be. Kenshin is in there. Mm -hmm. Full Metal Brotherhood is in there. Fire. Oh, fuck. What else do I got? What else do I watch a lot of? Hmm. 
Yo, Transformers count as an anime? Nah. I wouldn't count it as an anime. I'm gonna I'm put Dragon How about Ball. X-Men? I'm How about put X-Men? Dragon Ball Z in there. No. But it's called the animated series, though. Nah, the X-Men's not an anime. anime. I know, man. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just oh, throwing it in there because it's mad cartoons. You said Dragon Ball Z. Let me look at, let me look at. Damn, what's my, what's my top five? Let me just look at some. All right, all right. Full Metal Brotherhood, mm -hmm. right? We got Kenshin. You, said, wanna, dra you said Dragon Ball Z. A Dragon Ball Z. Ah, do I want to put Naruto in there? Ah, right, you know what? Let me go. Let me go in there. I could put. All right. So from the bottom, I got Naruto. I got Food Wars. Oh, you like Food Wars? Yeah. Food Wars food solid. Wars. Food. Ooh. Shokugeki. And, and how can I forget Kuroku? Kuroku is definitely in my top. All right. So mm -hmm. out of those five, hold up. Dragon Ball is last. Mm -hmm. I'm not a. I think Dragon Ball is super basic, but it, it's it's just an iconic anime. Yeah. So that'll be my fifth. My fourth would be. Fourth would be Dead Ass Naruto. My third would be my third would be Brotherhood, mm -hmm. Full Metal Brotherhood. My second would be Kuroku. My first would be Kenshin. Kenshin's my top anime. Kenshin. Kenshin's hands down like probably the, my my most favorite anime I've ever seen. Okay, let's okay. go. Okay, so for a series, for me, from from the bottom, Food Wars, Code Geese, Dragon Ball. Damn, I want to say Bleach, but that shit went shitty on the anime, yo. But the manga was fire. I'm gonna say Bleach number two. No, the anime was popping. No, it, I just didn't. It, I just didn't, didn't like finish. Yeah, Bleach number two. Yeah, they messed up the anime. Number one, Kuroko's basketball. Okay. I got too many though, but yeah, that, of the five, I picked yeah, those are the five. Like, I don't like. I never got the cool geese. I I started watching it. I, it's 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 a, an acquired taste. I heard. Cause cause Tasty Steve be shitting on that on that joint. <laughs> I, I personally don't. Li he like that shit ain't good, bro. It's like damn. I actually liked it. Maybe because I used to watch soap operas and shit. It's like a violent soap opera. Yeah, I mean, I I, I started watching it. Just never. It doesn't it doesn't hold me. La lucha vi Britannia. Like, Kuroko held me. Like, that was that though. was crack. And I started watching the other, the volleyball one. You seen um Haikyuu? Haikyuu? I ain't see all of it, no. It's legit. It's okay. Haikyuu. The, man, the, 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 the animes I left off, like I was watching Stop Halfway, was Haikyuu and All In. All In is the rugby one. Mm. I didn't get to finish that shit, but that shit was fire, though. Literally, the, the whole premise of the show is the guy that wants to be on the team, Uh, he's mad short, but everybody else is just brolic as fuck. But he got like the most heart and he got like the most like talent. In the in the show, so like that's that's what I remember from all in. So I need to, I definitely need to finish that shit. All right, my five. Um, boom, 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 boom. I don't know if I have five though. Gotta have five. Ah, all right, so. Uh, the Law of Wekis, number five. Fire. See, it was up there, too. <laughs> that was my shit. Yeah, rest in peace, Nelson, man. We was watching that every week religiously. That shit was fire. Um, was the name of the character with the bubbles? Oh, Roberto Hayden. Hayden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roberto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, Avatar's not an anime. Okay, Law you of Wekis. You can count that. Nah, it's not an anime. It's not, it's not Japanese. You can count that. You can count that. It's not that. Japanese. Can't. It's not Japanese. It's not. It's not. It's not American. An, it's not anime. It's not anime. It was on um, Nickelodeon. Uh, I got Bleach. Ruby, go get the the the, the door. I said. Oh. Dragon Ball Z. Kuroko Bas Kuroko no you. Basket, and then my number one is um uh, Naruto. Okay. I love those storylines. Now, now, last question for y'all. Go before we go. Two questions. I want y'all to tell me y'all number one in all animes that y'all watch. Number one anime villain and hero. Ooh. Ooh, number one for me, Aizen. Aizen's your number one? Villain. That man was a scumbag. He had me He had he, me in the rope of dope the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he had me in the rope of dope. I'm like, who the fuck is that? I'm not going to spoil it for the people that ain't seen Black. Okay. Seen Blake, but uh, 
Aizen, and then you said Hero. Damn, but I don't like the heroes though. Be like they, they, <laughs> they too kind of they too cheap. See, Aizen, at least he got his shit rocked though. Like he, he got his shit rocked. He got locked up. He got his shit rocked. You know what I'm saying? Some bullshit, but mm -hmm. he got rocked. But uh, <clears throat> feeling though. I mean, a hero. See, I never really had. I never really fuck with the, the the heroes. I literally used to say Ichigo is the best just to piss off Triforce. Yeah. <laughs> best hero. Damn. I don't want to say Goku neither. I'm not a fan of the Goku for real. I only say Goku's guy like just to get Triforce pissed. See, it's just little shit like that when it had to be the, with the protagonist of the show. Um, damn, I got a lot. I don't know. Yeah, you heroes? got to narrow it down. Yeah, so heroes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your favorite hero? I don't got that. You don't like no good guy. But most of the good guys that are heroes are the main characters. I don't fuck with the main characters. It could be anybody. Yeah, just your favorite, your number one hero. Man, he took guy your attention, man. Okay. 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 I out of my villain list to pick one, I I like Eisen. I like Eisen so scared. He's, he's godlike. God -like. He, he Eisen is, is godlike. He's godlike. But like uh, also, um, what's his name? The, the guy from Kenshin. Sho Shoshio. Sho what was his name? <laughs> he said Shoshio. What was Sh his name? Sho Eisen so scared. He's in Harlem Hospital. Harlem Hospital, hold on, leave hold, the hold on. Let, me get, let me get it together. What, what was that? Hold I mean, Harlem Hospital, what man. Was that? Oh, yeah. Shishio. 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 Right? He, okay. He's ridiculous. Between those two, and I like Madara also. Madara was pretty oh, crazy. Madara. Those are my three he, favorite villains, most likely. And and then so Sojiro from Kenshin, too, who was who was godlike. The kid, yo, this kid got no emotions. He was crazy. <laughs> yo, you, you seen Kenshin? They, uh, I don't remember. Yo, barely. the kid that runs, yo, he's ridiculous. And and, and, and like you know, he's so good. He was like not even the main villain. And then they, they, he was so godlike that they didn't even kill him. He just was like, ah, I'm so nice, and I just want to be good, kind of. He just walked away. Like, like they, they, people still can't fuck with him. Okay, he's od. But out of them, ah man, dude, I think I like Shishio the most. As a hero. No, as a villain. Villain, villain, villain. She should, okay, right. His his well, his villain shit was kind of crazy, and it was it was real normalized. It wasn't so crazy like yeah. Eisen and Madara was like you know, transforming worlds and shit. He was like it was political. You know what I mean? He was just trying to just break the government type of deal, which yeah. was kind of which was damn, legit. This movie's a classic. I'm sorry. And then, and a hero. Fuck. I don't like heroes. Really Marty either. McFly. Nobody likes heroes. Damn. Marty McFly. I don't like main characters either. The only main character I like, hero, I'll give you it right now, is is what's his face, Deku. Yeah, I like Deku too. He I'm got me hype. I never liked the main character ever, and he he, I actually like, I'm, I'm with him. I'm backing him 100. percent Yeah. Yo, that can that might be in my top five now. You know who was it's one of my favorite? Yet. It's not you, over. It's not you know, over. You know, yet. You know, right. you know who was one of my favorite villains too? Dragon Ball Piccolo. Okay. Dragon oh, Ball Dragon Piccolo. Ball Dragon Ball Piccolo. He was a, he was a scum. So, man. I'll do my hero first. My my hero. It, it it was close. It was, it was really like a toss up, but Byakuya. He's but but I right, so he's kind of a he's kind of a hero, but like they were not. Villains, you know what I mean? Like yeah, they was kind of villains, like kinda. So so you you put Byakuya borderline. He wasn't yeah, even in yeah, there. Yeah yeah I mean, yeah. He's he's my favorite, but um, it's gonna be definitely it's Teen Gohan. Teen Gohan's my my hero. He's a hero. He's my he's my number one hero. Um, my villain is actually my favorite villain, anime villain of all times. Chris, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite. Yo, that was bugging. She wasn't even. Yeah. Nothing yeah. was showing. My favorite anime. Oh, my look, that's, that's the wife. She been blowing my joint up. <laughs> my favorite anime villain is Kid Buu. He is okay. Chaos. Okay, 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 okay. Kid Buu was got like Ka too. he's chaotic. He was he, chaotic. He, Yo, he wasted no time. He just blew up the planet. He's OD. I he love, is. I love, I love his character. He was OD. His, yeah, I love kids. Definitely OD. Okay, but that's gonna conclude No Frills episode twenty eight. It's been a pleasure, Mike. Thank you for coming out, brother. No problem. Yeah, pretty random, but you know what? Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Give some shout outs. Tell the people where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Mike Infinite. Um, yeah, that's my Twitter and my. My IG, I don't use IG much though, but Twitter and shout outs to Bomb, shout outs to you guys, Yipes, Chris, everybody in New York, Desmond, Josh, Jason, 
Um, shit, shout out my son. Uh, baby Theo. Theo. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Theo. Um, he mad. He cool as hell, y'all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he's, a, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. Um, other than that, yeah, everything's been good. So, well, guys, just know, subscribe, hit the button, follow us. And if you want to hang with us here at the No Frills Podcast, you just got to watch on YouTube because I promise there's no special more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a special mo. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Oh Yo, man, cut God. this shit off, man. Yo, cut it off, man. No Frills Podcast 28, <laughs> sign off. We'll see you next time. Peace. It's a special mo. It's a special mo. <laughs> shit.